You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet. Hey. Hey, you, man. I'm so I'm so glad you came back. It is really good to see you. It's rare. Had, you probably had a hard week. <laughs> and, man, man, it makes me feel better that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Hey, John. You made me John, feel... John, come on. We're glad you're here. Which which John? The John who shed a tear after I <laughs> after I greeted the last time. So I was like, let's make it good, even better, personalized <laughs> greeting, and then say, hey, John. Hey, man. Hey, John. Come on. Hey. Good to see you. Happy birthday last week that you didn't get to have. Happy birthday. <laughs> People, uh, you want to go and do your compliment corner? I feel like that one was... Uh, that I haven't heard anything from that. The, well, I have. <laughs> you have? <laughs> yeah, so people need... Pe- <laughs> no one pe- messes me people, about it. People need to, like, directly... Yeah, because, like, <laughs> on stream, it was like... Uh, Sandwich Pope Phil was like, Tyler's compliment corner was sorely missed last episode. And I was like, t- he's here in chat. Just tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I said what I miss, Phil never said anything again. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to put you on the spot. Because it's not like who who do I want who do I want to compliment? <laughs> you who, want to compliment want Zeus guy? once one time? Yeah, that's, and that's it. it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a compliment corner. It's not compliment corners. <laughs> right. It's compliment yeah. corner. All right. Yeah, that's a weird room. One <laughs> yeah, corner. Just one corner. Yeah, yeah. It's Cthulian. <laughs> <laughs> non Euclidean, right? <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> non Euclidean. Oh, is it Euclidean? Euclidean. Is that how you say <laughs> that? Euclidean. I don't, I, that's one I've like only seen. Euclidean in those DMs, girl. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that on like uh, that's like on Twitter? It's probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know about as much as I do. <laughs> I hear people saying that all the time, and I'm like, man, I'm glad I'm not single. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. You on Bumble and Hinge? Nope. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. No. Poor me. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome sex on the regular. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this is uh, Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games where we hang out and talk about games and stuff in our life for you to enjoy, and we come and invite you to the table. Come on, sit, hang out. Come on, John. Have we, a seat, we, John. we invite you to sit down and not and Just not respond. Only John. <laughs> no, no, Everyone else needs no. to stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Phil, wait, wait, Phil, you'll get your turn. <laughs> John gets to sit down. <laughs> it was his bad birthday last yeah. week. Yeah, we're making it. We're making it better. Hopefully, try it. Maybe, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe John feels better. Maybe Zeus feels better. Yeah. No one else. No feels one better. else. Yeah. <laughs> Although Zeus never said anything, so I, I guess he, he missed that episode. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious to me. I, mm-hmm. I, uh, I. I, I hope that he heard it because it was um, very nice things are said about him. <laughs> but it's hilarious to me if he didn't. So he's a regular <laughs> listener, but not that episode. <laughs> or he was really creeped out and said nice things about him. He is Russian, so he's like a stupid American. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Uh, so uh, before we delve into what the randomizer just kind of dug down and gave us, Daffy, Daffy Duck. Yeah. The Martian Missions? The Marvin Missions. Marvin Missions. Mm-hmm. It's a weird name. Yeah, it's a real name. Re- weird name. It's also a real it, name. It's a real name. <laughs> it's not a fake name. I'm like Daffy Duck, the Martian <laughs> Missions. It is a real name. <laughs> I'm drinking a bi antioxidant cocoa fusion okay. of coconut and pineapple, 10 calories. That seems that sounds pretty and good. And the rest of the calories are coming from this Bacardi Superior 
rum. That's okay. A lot of nutrition in there. <laughs> right? It's true. It's true. This is energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah Liquid that is, energy. That is energy. My, Seven K cows per gram. <laughs> God damn it. My energy was three more, handfuls. More of, than protein or carbs. <laughs> three handfuls of wasabi peas before I came over. Pretty good. Pretty I mean, good. There's, there's dinner until we're done recording. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pineapple monster. I do. I have that. But You that, also have that can of monster energy. Yeah, yeah, thanks for noticing. (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate that. (laughs) Not too many people say anything about this monster. (laughs) I do. (laughs) Got to get on on Bumble. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, what have you been up to this week, Dave? A lot. A lot of things. Tell me. I want to hear all the things. A bunch of things. First things first. um, I don't know if you saw that. You probably saw this on Tad Bog Nation. Um, Michael May I Come posted a photograph of Super Turrican 2, uh, oh, SNS yeah, cartridge. Yeah. Uh, and I don't really... Oh, you hate that game. Uh, yeah, I don't like that game. Mm. Uh, but I did want to buy it. Yeah. So I was, <laughs> yeah. I, was in the, I was in those DMs being like, yo, can I buy this? Because I need this <laughs> for the collection. Um, and he sent it to me. He, he just sent it he to you? He just sent it to me. He and just I, gave you he just Super Turrican 2? He just gave it Holy to me. Holy shit. And okay. I told him, I was like, this is an expensive game. I was like, I'll, I, I will pay you for this Whoa. game. And uh, he said, no, don't worry about it. He said, I've got a, he said, repros are online for 20 bucks. And essentially, it doesn't mean as much to me as it does to you. So here you go. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow. Wild. Michael, may God make you come. <laughs> <laughs> Michael made me come twice. Yeah, but, but that, that is a the, the least we could do is a title upgrade. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Jesus. Yeah, and it's uh, with the instruction manual. I mean, it's wow. yeah. No, it's damn. It's, it's legit. It's it's fucking legit, man. So wow. Uh, like I mean, I several times in the conversation. So we're done with the show now, right? Yeah, I mean, mission accomplished. We got it. <laughs> Time to pull out. <laughs> but yeah, like several times, I was like, are you sure you want to do this? And I will pay you for this. And this is an expensive game. But no, man, totally cool. And he's like, yeah, I can buy a repro if I really, if I really want it. So yeah, man. I mean... So, yeah. hey, one step closer to having a full collection. I'm at like 198. I'm collecting money if anybody has any. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing is like, um, I don't think I'm ever going to sell these. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just like, I mean, Henry's just going to be left with useless plastic uh, when I die, you know? <laughs> and it's like, at that point, all these things are going to be worth like. I'll have this cartridge daddy. Yeah, literal pennies. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I got like I'm up well, to like it'll be a good uh uh gray plastic throne for us to have for you to have and for me to look at when we inevitably have to scrub our podcast from the internet for to, you know to have jobs. So Oh yeah, is that are you concerned about that? No, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. I'm not concerned about it ever. Uh, never. It's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Uh, I, I imagine that all of my future employers are just gonna love the show. Uh, mm. and probably be like, you know what? We're going to start you at a higher salary than we normally do just because we really like, really like your show. the gross shit you say on the internet <laughs> with your friend Tyler. <laughs> How many episodes do you have? Just one. It's called episode 63, <laughs> the one with Wiley and Laura about board games. That's the only one. It's the only one we've yeah, done. Weird we started out with 63, uh, yeah, but we just yeah. thought we were going to work our way backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's very clean. Don't worry about it. <laughs> shit, man. I put this on my LinkedIn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so also um speaking of collection stuff uh i i uh, made a trade recently with beloved adam uh in 64 games for snes games so i wanted to share what i got um from him and i meant to do that mm. last time uh, i let i let go of some uh some real Games that I absolutely loved. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beloved Adam did me a favor by taking these. There were some good ones in there that looked good. We'll put those in air quotes. Like Conquer's Bad Fur Day. You had some good. I offloaded you had some good. that yeah, yeah. in a Symphony of the Night. That's uh, that's also kind of, you okay. know, that's one of those. But I got Metal Combat boxed, which very excited because I like that game a lot. Mm-hmm. I got a box for Mickey, the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, which is good because I had that game loose. So now I've got the box and the cart. And nice. 
uh, Captain America and the Avengers, Congo's Caper, Justice League Task Force, Mario's Missing, classic, mm. uh, Power, Power Rangers The Fighting Edition, Power Rangers Zio, Battle Racers, which we both <laughs> Thank love. Thank God. Yeah, finally. Thank we God. got it. Yes. <laughs> uh, Street Racer. Kermit and Brom. <laughs> Uh, Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World, uh, and then the the big ones in that is Final Fight Two and Final Fight Three, which is like <sighs> man, I love those games. Um, so now I'm up to 197 Super Nintendo games. Pretty so good. it's not Pretty like good. it's you know still a ways to go, but I mean that's almost that's damn near 200 games. Yeah, it is nice. So how many Super Nintendo episodes have we done? I have no idea. I There's wonder, no way of telling. No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I just wonder if, like, do you have more games or do we have more episodes? I think we have. That's a good question, but my bet would be we have more episodes. I would I would think, but I bet it's close. We did at least 100. We did 100. <laughs> we did 100, yeah. Have we done 200? Uh, I don't know. Probably, man, <laughs> because, like, we've been doing what the, the this list that we're on now. Over all 725 year. for, like, over... A year I mean, and a half? Well over a year. Yeah. Because I feel like the randomizer first We started appeared. after Suikoden. Suikoden was the last I, game we did before we started the randomizer. It's been two years at least. Because, yeah. I mean, it's been all of 2020. Um, because I remember when uh, we were given the idea of the randomizer, I remember being at the gym when I read that mm. idea. Uh, from John Harvey, I believe. So, um, oh, he's here. Thank you. Hey, oh, John. yeah. Here, hey, we hey. got a seat for you yeah. <laughs> here in our John section. <laughs> yeah. See, created the randomizer. Right. Fuck you and happy bad birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we've done over, we've done over 200. Cause if we do 52 a year, give yeah. or take. Okay. 50, then we, we had 50. done some random ones before yeah. that. So, like okay. Porky's haunted. Holiday, yeah. which will come into play. Smart ball, we did it out of nowhere. Uh huh. Balls, balls. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I'm I'm working on it though. One one of these days, I'll have more more games than we have uh, uh, <laughs> talked about. Uh, also, big news is uh, Henry said shit. My son Henry said shit. Nice. Um, not really, not great. Bad uh, context. He just didn't know. Mm. Uh, so it was one of those where it was like he was getting ready for school, uh, and he and Nikki are at the front door ready to leave, and I'm in the bedroom, and I just hear, bah, 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 shit. And it was like he, he was in a spelling bee because, like, Nikki was like, what did you say? Shit. S-H-I-T. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. He got it right. Uh-huh. That means he gets to use it. Right. Yeah, those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs> In the Moore Family Handbook. If you can spell it, you can say it. <laughs> uh, so, um, Motherfucker. I, I, I. <laughs> you know the drill. Right. <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> M- uh, country of origin? <laughs> Danish. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got to explain to him that that is uh, an adult word mm-hmm. and that he shouldn't use it. Definitely not at school. Uh, and also, I don't want to hear him say it because mm-hmm. <laughs> it uh, makes me feel like I've done a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, and I also got to tell him, I was like, hey, man, because he was upset about it. And I was like, don't be upset. You didn't know. You didn't, or if you did, you right, did you? Right, did you? <laughs> if you if you did know, now you know. Like now you really know. <laughs> and I was like, look, I remember when I said my first swear word in front of uh, your gram gram, and she slapped me across the face. So you got <laughs> off pretty good. <laughs> what did you say? What did I say? Yeah, bastard. Uh, yeah, during uh, batteries not included. Bastard. When the guy I think hits the robot, the little drone with the bat. <laughs> I said, <laughs> oh, that bastard or something. You bastard. I don't way even... before South Park. Way before South way Park. Way before South Park. I pretty much invented it, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, um, nah, Trey and Matt, they owe me quite a penny. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know. I don't even know where I heard the word. Probably at school, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, probably at school. It wasn't YouTube, which is what Henry told us he heard. And I was like, yeah, I get it. Because, like, we'll watch... Well, like I'll watch YouTube with them, mm-hmm. and someone will say "shit" or "bitch" or like you know, and it's mm-hmm. just like, well, 
not going to say anything because I don't want to draw attention to those words, but I do need to put that in my hat. You probably didn't hear that. Nah. nah you didn't hear He's that. He's good. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> we can watch George Carlin. He didn't hear that. <laughs> I remember watching George Carlin with my dad when I was in... Fourth grade, mm-hmm. I think. So he's got like three more. He's got like three more years before we can watch George Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that'll be good. That'll be fun. So um, yeah, it all worked out. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard him say shit to me since. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kid hasn't said fuck to my mother. So. <laughs> uh, it also makes me feel like a huge hypocrite because it's like here I am recording this right now and, and me at work it's an even. adult word you're an adult it's right fine. I'm an adult it's an adult word yeah. I could use it Henry <laughs> <laughs> F-U-C-K see there <laughs> <laughs> there, right? there was there was a moment where I was like well, I could turn I could spin this another way and speak in my house the way I speak <laughs> everywhere else I'm just imagine your mother slapping you <laughs> do it <laughs> B A S <laughs> S second backhand. <laughs> I don't. It's. I don't know. That's like my mom has like hit me. Do you know what that is? Fish poop. <laughs> A bass's turd. I can see that, but no. <laughs> I think she's hit me like maybe twice in my life, and that was one of them. And I was probably about. I was like about Henry's age, um, and uh, I've never seen batteries included since. <laughs> 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 Just on principle. That movie gets me hurt. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um, have you heard of a game called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rescue Palooza? No. It is a fan-made game that was made in um, the, um, oh God, what is it called? Uh, Beats of Rage. The open Beats of Rage engine, which is like this engine that um, communities make beat-em-ups from. Uh, like... You might remember I was talking about Final Fight uh, Ultimate LNS uh, a while back. That was also made in that same engine. So essentially some people or person, I don't know, honestly, how many, like how big the development team was, but they made this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles beat-em-up that, uh, and it's like probably a couple years old. I slept on it, honestly. Mm-hmm. I saw Grimm stream it, and it was like, oh, this looks cool. I'm going to play it. And then like after his stream, I was like, because like uh, Gamebug Prime, Nate was in there too, and I was, and was like, man, I kind of want to play this game. Yeah, but then we had to get Parsec working, and then I get it. And I was like, okay, fuck it. It was like it was like fucking eleven thirty or whatever. And it's like you I gotta know what the Kelso run is to know what a Parsec. Right? Ex- yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get in bed. So I get in bed and I get a message from Nate. It's like, hey man, you want to try that out? I'm like now? Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm in bed, but fuck it. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> so I got out of bed, put some clothes you on. son of a bitch, <laughs> right? I'm in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, we got Parsec working, finally. <laughs> I'm in bed. Uh, Are we going to have sex? No, I'm in. Sh- I'm in. Uh, Nikki was long asleep. <laughs> like, the night is the night is mine. <laughs> I like to make myself available, uh, which means hold out until she is snoring, and then it's like, okay, now I can go do, <laughs> do other things than wait for sex. <laughs> uh, it's really- I think we're pretty much always waiting for sex in some, some form or another. That's actually a very wise, <laughs> like, that's like, it's not, from the Bible? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Very wise. It is true. It's one of the red words, so it was Jesus said it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I haven't thought about right? and, and Jesus wept. We're all really just waiting for sex. I mean... To be gonna, a man is to wait for sex. <laughs> it's going to be on my tombstone. Still waiting for sex. <laughs> uh, the game is... And be jerks about it. <laughs> Uh, the game's really good. Rescue Palooza is really, really good. It is like it takes a bunch of stages from uh, different Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games. Uh, like there are stages from like the Manhattan Missions. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the Manhattan Project. Uh, there are like levels from the arcade game Turtles in Time, the original NES game. Like they really do a good job of like congealing all of that chaos into yeah. like one package. They add a bunch of characters from the cartoons, um, like Mondo Gecko is like my favorite character to play God, because I forget right, about him. right, because his speed is maxed out and it's like he's on a skateboard and it's like when you use his dash, his skateboard like 
<laughs> like jets of flame shoot out the back yeah. of the skateboard. It's really, it's really, really fun. Uh, and it's free. And I recommend anybody listening to this who has any love of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and beat em ups, um, definitely check that game out. It's and Usagi really- Yojimbo. Oh, yeah, he's in it. He's in it. I, I like him okay. His range is a little too short, if you ask me. He's got, he's got I know he's sword. got a sword, right? You'd mm-hmm. think it'd be better. I love Usagi Yojimbo, but sorry, Mondo Gecko's pretty much my dude <laughs> <laughs> in that game. He, uh, he hits, he's so weak, but it's fine because it's like he's so fast, man. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, I get, I get it. It's all you need. It's, all you need is to be faster than the other person. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> but not for any reason other than to be like, man, I am so much faster. <laughs> hey, Stallion's in every party in Suikoden. There's a reason. I like Stallion. Yeah. yeah I yeah. like Stallion a lot from Suikoden. It's good shit. Uh, we played some uh, Shell Shock Live uh, with the Game Buds on Discord. Um, that was fun. I learned that Bubba Drewski is uh, a total uh, pool shark equivalent of Shell Shock because. Mm. Uh, he won versus one versus all of us <laughs> uh, and destroyed us. Um, also, uh, the Whisker Squadron Kickstarter is live. That game I was talking about that oh, is yeah, yeah. the Star Fox roguelike, yeah. which is very reminiscent of the game we were willing into reality when we uh, recorded that bonus episode with uh, Cthusius Jeff on Star Fox uh, Assault. Uh, the Kickstarter is live, and I have to decide... Whether or not I'm going to pay fifty dollars back that game at fifty dollars to get uh, private beta access, like in June, and it's like really ooh, tempting, ooh. but it's also fifty dollars. But you were given Super Turrican too, so basically right. you saved that amount of money to do whatever with. That is that is true. <laughs> so fifty dollars dropping the bucket definitely going towards yeah. Whisker <laughs> Squadron. There's also, if we wanted to go in on it together, for $500, um, we could um, put one of our pets in the game. So We had to do $1,500, because we'd have to have a river, sky, and I definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm in if you're in. <laughs> I think I got to check to see if the $50 also includes like a, like a line of credit. Uh, in the game because if it does it's totally going to be Tadpog Podcast oh, yeah that'd be fucking sweet and they'll be like no you can't do that that's a podcast be like, that's also my legal that's, name that's my name <laughs> I legally I legally changed it you can check if you want <laughs> do it yeah, on, do, do it. it I dare you <laughs> <laughs> sir it says here your, your legal name is Mondo Gecko <laughs> care to explain I just got a weird flashback um to the the night before we went to Atlanta, both of us trying to find our social security cards and passports for some reason. What's your legal name? Ugh, hold on, man. Did we have to take that shit with us? I can't, oh yeah, I don't, I don't remember ordeal. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sure don't. I blocked a whole bunch of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom slapping me for saying bastard. I remember, but all that shit in Atlanta. Mm-mm. Mm. I mean, to be fair, we were never arrested. <laughs> True. <laughs> it was True. always like we got to go to Atlanta tonight and go back tomorrow. No, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get there at three, <laughs> sleep for four hours. Yeah, go to the audition and then drive seven hours uh, back. Right. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> they're gonna they work the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Good times. Beast times. So beast. So beast. So beast. Uh, I got a win in Pac-Man 99, uh, which is a, the new Pac-Man Battle Royale, mm. where 99 people play Pac-Man against each other, essentially, uh, with a whole oh. bunch of like extra layers on top of it. Pac-Man is like one of those games where it's like, I am so happy with... Packy. Like, I'm so. Ooh, I don't think we're allowed to say that in America. We can say that, but like, yeah, everyone listening in the UK was just like, oh god, ooh, ooh, man, fuck. Um, we got a real, we got a real. Uh, Sly- Prince Philip just died. <laughs> Please. We got a real Slylock situation on our hands here. I think I had to make sure I was saying the right word. Did I say the right one? No. Oh fuck. <laughs> Let's start it over. Let's start it over. Podcast starting over. Uh, but I love that Pac Man is like. A game that just, they just keep doing new iterations of Pac-Man without changing the core game very much. I love that. 
Um, I wish that more like retro games would do that, but then it's also kind of like I don't know that they can because like Pac Man is like a super simple game yep. where it's like I feel like it's you can keep that core concept of you are a Pac Man. You eat dots in a maze. You eat a big dot, and then you eat ghosts. Like I feel like there's a lot of wiggle room and a lot of <laughs> shit that you can overlay on yep. top of that. Yeah. So like the way that this works is like, and they, they keep building. Other pack people, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Of course. Uh, chalk outlines of Pac Man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which they appear in this game. Like that's kind of like how it works. Where it's like, if you eat a bunch of ghosts in your game, uh, those ghosts get kind of sent over, like Tetris style where you send like junk over. They get sent over to someone else's game in the form of like chalk outline Pac-Man. They don't kill you, but what they will do is slow you down. So like you go through it, it slows you down. Oh yeah. Ah. Like, and it's like, so they'll slow you down and then the ghosts will just come and they'll, they'll get you while you're Mm. slowed down. So this doesn't sound too rough, but like when you get down to like the top 50, the game speeds up, and then when you get to like the top ten, it speeds up even even more. Mm. So it's just constantly going faster. And then eventually, um, when you send junk over to another person's game, uh, the the white chalk outline Pac Man turn into red ones, and like red ones will kill you if they touch you. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can not be. Uh, eaten they're worse than ghosts they can't if you get a power pellet they just freeze that's the best you can do damn it all right. freeze until that power pellet wears off orcus ghosts okay yeah absolutely yeah totally uh the only way to get rid of them is to um eat a fruit which clears the the entire screen so uh, that that get rid okay. of that, that gets rid of them uh it's so much fun and it's free that's another you one yeah I, I won one round it took three hey, hours. You won, son. But I won Good one job. round. It was like the last one on the stream too, because I was like, I was saying I'm feeling fatigued like this. I gotta, I gotta get out. Mm-hmm. Like I gotta get out. And then uh, it got to the point where I didn't even realize it was down to me and one other person. And that's a great thing because if I had, I absolutely, absolutely would have choked. <laughs> but it, it just, I was just playing, 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 and then all of a sudden I won. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like all right, nice. cool. So I really, I really, I really recommend that game. Like it's free, mm-hmm. so check it out um, on the Switch. You can buy things, but don't. <laughs> like they have themes mm-hmm. and stuff, but it's like where you can change instead of looking like Pac Man, you can change it to look like Dig Dug or something like that, which looks cool. I don't like that, it, it looks cool, mm-hmm. but it's like, man, I don't like it either because it's like I've trained my brain for fucking decades. Yep. I'm the yellow thing. Those are the ghosts. Avoid those things. If I, I feel like if I'm playing like Galaga Pac-Man or something, mm. I don't know. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna make it harder. Yep. No, I agree. I'm with you. I'm with you. You can pay also to unlock private matches, which that's kind of neat. Mm. But it's like the champagne room of Pac-Man. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Uh, yeah. If you want a pri- if you want a private experience. Hey, BB, private game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. PayPal won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> PayPal has a staunch uh, only buy good Christian boy shit with mm. our with our funds. So yeah, Pac Man ninety nine. It's good. I have more stuff that I did. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I soft modded my PlayStation one. Finally, nice. Uh, it works amazingly. Mm. I love it. I've been playing. It, it works like the quality is amazing, or you're just very shocked it works. Both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed at how easy it was. Amazingly, to do. it works amazingly. Right. It, the uh, truly, the most amazing thing that happened was the um, Game Enhancer Nine that I bought on eBay worked <laughs> 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 because that Pro Action Replay that I bought like last month uh-huh. was DOA. Yep. And it was like, well. Fuck. And yeah. I was like, so I went in with new mentality because I, I spent $30 on that pro mm-hmm. action replay. My new mentality was buy the cheapest fucking card I can find on eBay. Buy the cheapest one. If it doesn't work, buy the next cheapest one. You know, just keep buying the cheapest one yeah. until it until it works. Uh, and then, yeah, Game Enhancer 9. A++++ <laughs> would flash again. <laughs> what does it do exactly? So it allows me to play my my legal backup 
copies of my PlayStation games. Oh, is what it allows okay, me to cool. do. I still have to use the optical drive. It's not like a an optical drive emulator, mm-hmm. uh, like an X station, which I totally want to do one day. But Davy Poo doesn't know how to solder, and mm. um, a lot of different, a lot of different. Like I, my NES RGB mod is still like waiting to be done. So it's like I'm not even gonna sweat anything else mm-hmm. until that is done. Uh, so I was like, well, hell, man, this is like a this is like a cheap soft mod that I can do. You just flash, um, you just flash some inf- some data to uh, one of those Game Shark cards that mm-hmm. you know plug into the back of a PlayStation, and it just allows you to run burn CDs. So I bought a big spool for the first time in like <laughs> Man, a, a long, long time. time. And I was worried. I was like, these are going to be super expensive now. And they are if you don't look like, if you like buy the first uh, one. All of the uh, the Gen Z workers at Walmart are like, the, the <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what are these? <laughs> yeah. So um, are yeah. those like old iPods? <laughs> oh, man. That makes me feel old. Have they come with the wheel? Right. Is that what that is? Baby Verbatim? <laughs> Yeah, man. So uh, I've been playing uh, Ape Escape, which is a game that I legally own and purchased, mm-hmm. uh, but had never played. Uh, it's uh, it's very good. It's as mm-hmm. good as I always heard it was. So I've been enjoying that. Hell yeah! No, that's very that's very cool. Yeah, that's it's very, very it's been cool. fun. It's been yeah, it's been fun. So now we replay Suikoden. Can you uh, can you put your Suikoden one data on it? So when you do Suikoden two, it uploads your. Your game? I'm trying to remember what I played Suikoden in one on. I can't remember what I played it on. Um, but maybe I don't know. I haven't yeah. done the research on that. I might just Suikoden's pretty short, so I might just play through Suikoden sure, again. You, you could beat it like just using a guide to make sure you got every character. Like yeah, yeah. you could do it easily in like I bet like eight or nine hours. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not too bad. Um, the hardest part is probably just going to be remembering all the all the things. So yeah, mm-hmm. I definitely have to use a guide. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm ready to do Sweet in Two. Essentially, whenever whenever we're ready to to do that, oh yeah. I now now have the capabilities of of doing that. Um, on my legally backed up, <laughs> my legally backed up <laughs> ISO. <laughs> yep. What have you been up to? Uh, I got my my Heat sixteen clear in Hades, so I got the second of Skelly's trophies. And nice, man. I have one more achievement to get, and then I'm done. I didn't realize you were playing that still. Yeah, I just wanted to play it. I'm in that that Deuce posting. I still see good yeah. posts and Deuce posts. It's like, yeah. oh fuck, man. I it makes play. you want to play. I want right? to play it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one run here. Word. I'll do one run here. I'm with you, man. I'll, so. Every now and then I'll see a post too, and it's like, man, I miss Hades. And that goes back to like when we were talking uh, with Coco about that. I mean, it goes back to what we were saying, where I feel like this is a Hades is a game that you can set down, not play it for a couple weeks or a couple months, and then come back, pick it up, and yeah, it's you're like, doing it again. Yeah, didn't even miss a step. So cool, I got man. my clear with uh, the twin fists. Nice. I had a build using um, had the Poseidon dash, um, heartbreak Aphrodite's heartbreak on attack, and. Hang over on special and just use that privilege status and just tore through shit. Nice. It's like, man, now I wish I was streaming. I'd like to I'd like to do the fists and a good flashy Poseidon run and beat Extreme Measures Hades. Yeah. Because that was because I've also beat him with uh Excalibur. And that was much harder. Yeah. I was out of death defiances. I had like ten hit points left when I finally got him. Like much, much closer than that is than close. my dodge builds. Did the, you unlock the, the that achievement that like I can't remember what it's called, but it's like the or the not achievement, but like on the Switch version, they have like titles when you finish the run. Like there's one that I got when I finished, I think I beat Hades with one hit point. And it <sighs> said like the title of the run was something like I can't remember, like oh, that's awesome. by the skin of your teeth kind yeah. of deal. Like something along that line. <laughs> I do like those. Like yeah. well, I think on that one I just I just went balls out hit points. Yeah. So I, I had like four hundred and seventy five when I went into fight him. So it was like Minotaur's toughness, or whatever, was my I think was my clear for it. But I did that. Uh, our our very expensive calling service has went through. And, oh, good. And so so disclaimer for the calls: there were a lot to go through. Yeah. So basically, if if it was hard to understand, if it was very difficult to understand you, we had to clear those out. Uh huh. 
Um, we were left with eight calls. We were left with eight calls. <laughs> <laughs> of those eight calls, half of them were racist. So we're down to four <laughs> calls. <called. laughs> well, do you know who who called a lot with just perfect call clarity? Uh, beloved Adam is beloved my guess. Adam. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it's a lot of Beloved Adam. Let's, we haven't heard from Beloved Adam in a while. <laughs> yeah. You know, let's let's look. I got to be honest with you. Like, I feel like I feel like it's I feel like the tide has turned on um, Beloved Adam. Now he, that he's showing up in your stream, people are like, "Oh, he's not so bad." Uh, even before then, I yeah no, I mean like there there are definitely two camps. There's a Beloved Adam camp and there's a non Beloved Adam camp, and I feel like. The beloved Adam camp has grown, and it is, oh. and it is, it is, it is strong. I think it's because we put a lot less emphasis on calls. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, so it's like I we see. don't do them anymore, so people don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Nor do they call anymore, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, which which makes total sense. <laughs> which makes total sense. But I think uh, the the longer it goes without an all call show, I think people are like, we miss beloved Adam. Yeah, yeah. So and yeah, probably coming in the chat that probably yeah. helps too. But you know, before that even, because that's kind of like a new development. Yeah. But before that even, uh, several people had mentioned to me where it's like, I like the I like the beloved Adam calls, and I'm like, me too, because yeah, like really you just said, the call quality is always good. Yep. He's a nice guy. Yep. Has nice things to say. Feels very like he sucks our dick so well. It's great. I love so it. So well. You know, I love it when that happens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I lie awake at night sometimes waiting for that. He's got the <laughs> softest boy pussy. That, that beloved Adam. Uh, and his calls usually um, generate good conversation. They have a funny us. story yeah. and then a, a question that generates good yeah. discussion. So I guess what we're trying to say is if you're looking to get a call played on the show, do do all that. Do all, do those things. <laughs> yeah, do those things. Go through your checklist. Did I so, do this? Did did do I sound good? Yes. Yeah. Did I suck dick? Yep. Uh huh. Did I, did I was I funny? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ask a good question always. Firing on all cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, the quadrumperant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I called. I call. Damn it, I called them inside my aquarium. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I did suck the shit out of that dick though, but man, it did not sound good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Look, sometimes it's not about how hard you suck it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's about how slow. <laughs> sometimes it is. It's sometimes it's about eye contact. So <laughs> sometimes there's a lot of factors that go in. <laughs> there are different ways you can make a sandwich, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I also, uh, uh, so the bad news. Oh, fuck. So uh, the master bedroom in my house has a very small water closet of a bathroom in it. Like, it is just barely narrow enough for a sink and then a toilet right in front of it. Super small. Yeah. I peed in there. Like I know, yeah. Like, it's listed, I'd be listed on Zillow as having, like, one and a half bath. It's, like, really one and, one and an eighth a, bath. Yeah. Because yeah. it is, like, the toilet on one wall, you turn around... And there's the sink. Yeah, and that's pretty much. And then, if I were to gain twenty more pounds, I couldn't get in the room. <laughs> probably. It is. A, it is a small room. Yep. Yeah. It's but very it's very small. convenient. It was super convenient when we were recording there. Yeah. And just yeah. Turn off. Turn, just turn off to the side. Just yeah. turn around a little bit. Pee right there. I'm guessing less convenient now. Yes. Well, because now we turned the garage into the, the the bedroom, the new master, and then gave Chuckle Chica and Kenna, since they were sharing it, gave them the bigger room, so they have that. But they hate that bathroom. They will not use it. They hate it. It door, is door to stay shut. I mean, to be fair, it is haunted. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, so when something happens in that, and they put like their fan and a bunch of stuff in front of that door, like that blocks it. That blocks it. Yeah. So didn't know for a long time until like like their fan kept falling over. Okay, well, there's a big bump under the door here, and I. Stamp it down. Fuck open it up the is door. haunted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh shit, girls, run! <laughs> so apparently the toilet started leaking pretty badly in there. So I get in there, I turn the water off, I call my dad. He's like, "All right, all right." Well, because well, it had the same ha same thing happened in the other bathroom. We had to tear up the floor and redo it. Took the shower out, put it in a bathtub, did a whole bunch of shit. So he's like, "Oh, that's a small." be kind of cramped that it shouldn't be so bad just turn it off and let it dry out and i'll come you know we'll fix it sometime not a big hurry no one goes in there eventually yeah eventually <laughs> so then I, that's what i did 
I didn't think about it for a really, really long time until I went to go into that room, and then the bedroom door in the hallway was suddenly really hard to open. <laughs> Uh, the bed, the bedroom door, the bedroom the door, the bedroom door. Uh-huh. Yeah, the bedroom. And I door. noticed there's a hump in the carpet in the hallway. Oh shit! Now the hallway's haunted. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a real frighteners <laughs> experience on our hands here. So and then oh, God. I, I call my dad to tell him he comes in, checks it out. He's just like, I thought you turned the water off. It's like I did turn the water off. He, we pry open that door. It's just disgusting in there. He's like, oh no, water's still going. So how long? <sighs> months, months, and months. <laughs> That's a long time. Months. That's a long time. I mean, so there, it's what was like, I mean, it three feet maybe is how a, wide across that little room is. Yeah. And it was at least like four feet out that there is like water damage to everything. <laughs> like Melissa and I got a box cutter and we were cutting up the carpet. That's just. It's just destroyed with water damage. Yeah. So none of the girls were like, "Hey, man." Oh no, they're gross. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are we- they're so gross with their <laughs> spoiled milk and cereal oh, and no. old sandwiches oh, and shit. No. Like, of course they're not going to smell it. <laughs> of course. And if they do, they think, "Oh, we made a mess. We don't want to tell them." Right. Yeah. Because it's probably something we probably spilled rotten milk in the floor. Right. We don't want to tell no. them. Oh man. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> are the are the joists okay? Because that's kind of like a concern with that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, I bet not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So like, like is there? Wa- I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure there's water under the house, or there was. Oh yeah, had to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not good. Yeah, that's not yep, good. Yep, yep. So yeah. I, the reason I asked about the joists <laughs> is because like our bathroom is like the floor in our bathroom is. Pretty damaged. Like we've got, uh, like some water got underneath the, from the tub. Got underneath, I guess, the laminate or whatever. Mm-hmm. So the subfloor, like I can feel <laughs> some weak points <laughs> in the floor here. <laughs> Careful with your steps, son. Oh man, it's like a little mini trampoline. That's not good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, when your guy is done fixing your shit, let him know yep. that I need help. He has more work for you. Yeah, please. Um, so, I mean, so like the like the tenth doctor says on that uh, Water on Mars episode. <laughs> that's a good episode. It's an amazing episode. Yeah, that's a really good episode. I haven't thought about it in a long time. Yeah. Dude, I haven't watched Doctor Who in years. Oh yeah, I've I've watched the first season of the twelfth Doctor and I haven't seen it since. Yeah. I need to watch his tenure, watch the thirteenth Doctor. I just, just haven't. I just yeah. I don't watch TV like that anymore. I fell off. Yeah, I fell off. I don't. I'll, I don't watch any show like that anymore. No. Yeah, me neither. Nikki and I watch. We've been watching The Great Pretender. One episode per work day at lunch. Uh, and that's been awesome. Like, that's been really, really good. It's, um, I, I know we've talked about this on the show before, but man, like, I don't, I think, I don't like to binge shows, man. Like, cause it's, it's just a whole lot of shit to take in at once. And then I feel, you forget it. I forget, forget it. it. I do. I feel like I don't remember, like, it yep. doesn't leave a mark on me. Nope. Like, like Mother Three. I played that in the course of like two days. Remember a fucking thing. Yeah. It's yep. pretty much like any RPG that I play for the yeah. show. <laughs> or on it, like, because it's like. We're not missing anything yet. <laughs> Wouldn't say I'm missing it, Bob. <laughs> when Melissa and I did watch a very good documentary. Yeah. Um, HBO did it. Andre the Giant, the world's greatest drinker. Oh, what? Uh, no, I didn't know about oh, this. Oh, man. It's, it's so good. It's a few years old, but fuck, man. It is a really good documentary. Just chronicling. Everything about Andre the Giant, like from when he was a kid to when he sort of developed his gigantism and then what he wanted to do to make money and then that he was the best drinker who ever lived. Like the night, Ric Flair's talking about the night he had 128 beers. Was it just because of the sheer size of his organs? Yeah, I think he just was so big and he loved alcohol so much. Like he would have bottles of wine every night, like... And you see his hand holding a beer bottle, and it's it's nuts. Like how does it look like sh- like hotel shampoo or whatever? Yeah, yeah. it does. <laughs> and like, of course, yeah, I can see where to him. Yeah, I can drink 128 of these, no right. problem. Yeah, wow. So like, how it like minimum minimum whatever he wanted to have beer, he had a case minimum. That's got to be a that's got to be a wild 
life to live, right? Because I mean, it's yeah. like if you if you have that condition, like you know, I'm gonna die pretty young. No, he and he did right, and he did, and m- most people he died young, and he knew it. He talked about it. He, oh, he knew, knew like, about it. He yeah. knew like yeah, it, I'm dying. But like, <laughs> isn't like isn't that a? I can't even imagine living that way, you yeah. know? Because it's like on one hand, it's like that's horrible to like have this. It's like someone cast doom on you. Uh, yeah, or, and to see like because he was so incredibly big and strong. Yeah, but it did not take long for the weight to destroy his joints, so he couldn't. He went from being tremendously, unbelievably strong yeah. to in the Princess Bride. Whenever Buttercup jumps out the window uh-huh. and he catches her, yeah, she's on strings because he cannot. He cannot hold her weight up. Shit, he can't. Like Robin Wright Penn is. Fucking ninety pounds in that movie, and he he can't he can't hold her. Well, I wouldn't be able to either, but I'm not a giant. <laughs> he goes from that to like when he was early WWF, whenever they were in their their territory era or whatever, just like picking up three hundred pound dudes and just fucking throwing them around like they were nothing. So wow, did he die shortly after uh, Princess Bride? Like what was like? Uh, he had a few more years. Like he died. They had the big WrestleMania. Three or something like that, where it was him and Hulk Hogan. They made a third one of those. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so derivative at that point. <laughs> so he that was him sort of passing the torch on to Hulk Hogan because he actually that was the first time he had become a heel. Like he, he was always the face. Yeah. Um. So he was a heel to Hulk Hogan, and like that match, everyone loved it. But knowing they kind of explained to you like. He can't lift Hulk Hogan. He cannot do moves. He cannot do anything. He's, so he's Hulk Dan from Street Fighter at this point. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and how Hulk Hogan just, they have the match sort of around Andre's limitations, but it's so built up and they're such big personalities that it goes over so well. But like the big crux is just like where Andre just hugs, hugs Hulk Hogan for a long time to choke him out because he can't do anything wow. but wrap his arms around him. Yeah. So it was it was interesting and heartbreaking and yeah. it was really good. It sounds so really good. good. Do they mention um Andore from Final Fight? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a forty five oh, minute good. Yeah. Good. Then it's watchable. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> they do about say. twenty minutes on Andre the Giant and then forty minutes on Andore. Good. Good, 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 good. Because I was about to say otherwise it's unwatchable. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I'd be like, Nikki and I'd be watching, I'd look over and be like, I bet they're gonna talk about Andore like in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now. Any just minute wait, now. just wait for it. But there are stories about how he would drink until he blacked out and wherever he passed out. You couldn't move him. Well, sure. You literally couldn't get him anywhere. So sure. he would just hotel lobby floors, like just put a blanket over him. <laughs> He'll wake up in the morning. You can't get him up. It's like fucking uh, like, what, Gulliver's Travels or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just wakes up and just <laughs> tiny people surrounding yeah. him. I didn't realize how bad it was when he got to do international travel. Uh-huh. Because, I mean, back then, you know, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, Little bitty ass planes. He couldn't fit in the bathroom on any of them. He was too big to fit in any bathroom, or he had to take up two or two seats, and he just had to just just hold it, you know, for twelve hours. Damn, internet, and it was just yeah. Travel was super super hard on him. Yeah, I believe it. But he died. He's from. Is he from France? I don't know. Yeah. I think, wow. I think France, and then he he died there going home. And then his his ashes are buried in uh, North Carolina, like a farm, a big ranch that he owned that he loved. Because hmm. there's footage of him like shirtless riding a four wheeler. Looks like he's on a fucking tricycle, <laughs> <laughs> like a like a like the what, the Shriners or whatever in the parade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah I can't recommend that it, to, to anyone to anyone to watch that. It's like Melissa does not like wrestling, but she yeah. really enjoyed the documentary. Yeah. Too. Well, I mean, it's really good. He kind of like I don't like wrestling either. Really, you know, like. I don't have anything against it. I just don't really know that much about it. I never watched it as a kid. Yeah. You know, it's not one of those things where it's like, I don't hate it. I just don't have really an experience with it. And I feel like I'm at the point now where it's like, I'm too, you know, I'm too old to get into that. Yeah. Um, but like, he like transcends that. You know what I mean? Oh, because I mean, he's like one of those people where it's like, yeah, man, I can respect what he did. And, yeah. you know, out, and outside of that, can respect what he did. So. Yeah, and like Rob Reiner and Billy Crystal are talking about like 
spending time with them and shit like that. Like it's so cool, damn, so good. That sounds really good. Hmm. I'm glad you watched that. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. And I so I've watched half of uh, Class Action Park, another documentary. I thought you I thought you watched all of that. I watched some of the people talking about it on YouTube, not the oh, okay. actual documentary. Oh, okay. Uh, so I watched half of the the real documentary. Well, you've already well, then why watch it? <laughs> there were there were there's plenty more oh, okay. stuff. Uh, there's right. plenty more fucked up stuff. <laughs> like, dude, I'm at the point in my life where it's like, well, someone on YouTube explained it to me half assed. All right, check that <laughs> off right. my list. Might as well. I watched it. I fucking watched it. Yeah, <laughs> you said, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do I know enough about this to have a conversation with a normal person? Yep. All right. If, Job they, have, if they haven't seen it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> well, all right. That's all I got. <laughs> I have one more thing. Yes. <laughs> Banisher Dane uh, has put together uh, an unofficial Tad Pog <laughs> trivia contest. Uh-huh. Um, we need you guys to get your results and answer these questions. Uh, Banisher Dane, Backlog Banisher Dane has taken the time to uh, procure prizes for this contest. So uh, I implore you, if you consider yourself a Tad Pog aficionado, which I know everybody here does, uh, go to tinyurl.com slash trivia and try to answer the questions that are there. I wasn't able to do it. <laughs> I was able to answer Neither one. Neither was I. <laughs> <laughs> one, one question I was able to answer. Are you ready to talk about uh, uh, Daffy Duck... The Martian missions. The Marvin missions. Fuck, man. I am. <laughs> Damn it. I am ready. I was trying really hard. I know, I know. I failed. I know. Well, you know, it's a bad the name. Marvin. The Marvin missions. Why they didn't name this game Duck Dodgers is absolutely beyond me. The yep. only thing I can think of, because that was really bothering me last night. I'm trying to sleep. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I was like, man. Dave doesn't try to sleep. He tries to stay awake and fails eventually. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, there is like, I guess they did it because they didn't have faith that people would realize that that's Daffy Duck, which I think is kind of silly because that's Daffy Duck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's been around since like the 30s, man. They can say <laughs> Daffy Duck in Duck Dodgers. Like, if right. I can go that route then. Yeah, That's sure. It. But yeah, the Mar the Marvin mission. Maybe they wanted you to know that Marvin the Martian is in this game. Does Michael Jordan palm his head like a basketball? Like on the shirt that I wore yeah. in middle school <laughs> to, to pass as uh don't beat this guy up. <laughs> uh he hasn't seen Space Jam, but he won't admit that. Uh because if he does, we're gonna beat his ass. <laughs> So I wear that shirt. There's a man. I wish I could find. I might ask my mom. There's like a a, a photograph of me and a Chi Chi's, uh, <laughs> circa I don't know, man, circa 19 whatever. <laughs> and uh, I've got a big uh, Chi Chi's sombrero on, uh, a plate of <laughs> shitty Mexican food in front of me, and uh, I'm wearing that shirt, that white, oh, that man. white Space Jam man, shirt, Michael that's, Jordan, that's beautiful, palming uh, Marvin the Martian. That has to be the art for your interview episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah okay fine yeah and then i i guess i should text my mom right right now man she has like we have like like 10 more episodes to go before we're done to do, at least and, 10 and, and do at, our, at least yeah, 10 do our interview episodes um for blake to fly in yes <laughs> <laughs> uh my mom has so much random shit from my childhood that it is ridiculous because every now and then henry will show me something and it's like he's found some like <laughs> relic <laughs> and it, I'm like, I look at it. I'm like, this is mine. <laughs> where did you, where did you get this? I forgot this small, tiny plastic turtle that was once green, but I loved it and played with it so much that that green paint wore off to reveal this fleshy, p- <laughs> disgusting pink color. I remember that freaking me out as a kid. Well, why did mom have? Why mom, did- my turtle's pink. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> I rubbed my turtle. Now it's pink. <laughs> Why did Graham Graham keep this? I don't know. <laughs> it's like what? Um, because my mom still has like my baby teeth, mm. one of my first hairs. Mm. I'm pretty sure she has Ryan's foreskin in a baby book somewhere. <laughs> no way. Like she has the the string from where they circumcised me, where they would just tie a, like a little bit of twine around it. 
But I think she might actually have Ryan's foreskin somewhere. Is that how they do it? I don't know. Like, I really, I don't know. Because Henry's uncircumcised. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I'm circumcised, but I don't remember it. It was a long time Jack ago. Jack was having a shunt revision when they did his, too. So I don't, yeah. I don't even know. Huh. Yeah, that's not how I envisioned it with Twine. I thought it involved like a guillotine or something. <laughs> Bring in the child penis guillotine. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, I think they like they bunched it up on the end and tied it off with twine. Like they're castrating a pig or something? Yeah, pretty much. All right. How does that heal? Different colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, confirmed. <laughs> Uh, which, of course, leads us into Daffy Duck, the Marvin <laughs> Missions, a game about circumcision, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was one long, weird segue. And Marvin's what they call circumcision in Loon- the Looney Tunes universe. <laughs> oh, man. Getting, getting a Marvin. Yeah, you Marvin or unmarvin <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You hear that, Dave? I do hear that. It sounds like a whole bunch of... Uh, Martians screaming out in pain simultaneously, uh, which ushers in a segment that we like to call Dave Reads from Wikipedia. Okay, guys, this is a weird one (laughs) because it's like, where do you start? Do you start with Duck Dodgers? Do you start with specifically this video game? Am I stalling for time because I had the wrong thing pulled up? Yes. (laughs) I remember enjoying the cartoon when I watched it. I remember there being a whole lot of them. There are, um, so the original short, uh, there's the original short, which came out, I think, sometime in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then there are at least three others that they did, which, in my opinion, progressively worse. Uh, Leading up to the last one, which is literally, I think it's called Superior Duck. These are all on HBO Max. Um, because they've got the Looney Tunes license. Oh, okay. So I watched all the ones that I could that I could find. Thanks, Doc. And um, the Superior Duck is just like it's Duck Dodgers, but then like Foghorn Leghorn shows up, and then they just keep rolling the cameos in. They're not playing a role. Like that's the fun thing about Duck Dodgers to me is it's Daffy Duck. And Porky Pig, but they're playing, they're actors. Mm-hmm. They're they're playing characters. So it's this like meta fictional kind of like thing going on yeah. where it's like that's kind of that's cool. They're they are playing characters. But then when you just throw in Foghorn Leghorn, it's like, is he playing himself? I don't this illusion is is shattered. Did I say, son, did you not know I'm an immortal being? <laughs> It's the 24th and a half century. What's he doing alive still? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I say, I say, Cthulhu Fatagonali. <laughs> All right, next call Cthulhu game that you run. Could it please be Looney Tunes themed? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Daffy Duck colon The Marvin Missions is an action video game for the Super NES. A different Game Boy game was released with the same title in North America, with the European Game Boy version known as Daffy Duck, and the Japanese Game Boy version known as Looney Tunes Series colon Daffy Duck. <laughs> they did not know Looney what the name Looney Tunes, is. comma, that black duck. <laughs> the one with the white ring around his neck? <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, no one knew what to name this game. It doesn't matter what country you were in. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, it was, uh, the game involves duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century as told in the classic Looney Tunes stories created by Chuck Jones. Uh, when he is hit duck Dodgers says some of Daffy ducks lines from the 1950s cartoons like mother duck Dodgers and ho who <laughs> <laughs> I heard mother a lot. Uh huh. He was practically Danzig, the way I heard Mother so many times. <laughs> wow, thank you. That was a good one. That was a good one. I make that joke a lot to Melissa, and she just looks at me. <laughs> she has, she'll she'll like stub her toe and go, Oh, mother. Yeah. And I'll go, Mother. <laughs> or okay, Danzig. And she's like, What the fuck are you saying? So where do you know that song from? Jacob. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just curious. It was on um the city game track list for one of the one of the regions. 
Oh, I don't remember that. I just remember uh, the one song that was played over and over again. <laughs> uh, shimmy, shimmy, yaw. Uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that there, was the theme. There is um, there's a, a version of that song. There's a cover of that I'm going to have to send you because it would have worked really well in your halfling district, I think. Ah, uh, Because nice. it's essentially, imagine a kid's bop version of that song. <laughs> <laughs> The the murderous kids bop version. Right. It's not kids bop, but it's it might it might as well be. <laughs> That's um Henry's been turned on to Lil John <laughs> nice. uh, by proxy of Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Because uh-huh. I guess they covered it in one of their movies, maybe. They covered a Lil' John song. Uh, I believe it's called Turn Down for What? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we have... Um, <laughs> uh, we have a we have a uh, a Google speaker. Mm-hmm. So it's like when he wants to hear a song, he'll ask for it, and it'll play it. Uh, and then, so we've been listening to a lot of the Lil John version because that's the one it defaults to, <laughs> which is fine. There's nothing. I mean, I can see why Alvin and the Chipmunks, like for all I know, he wrote that song for that movie <laughs> for them to cover. You know, it's for a Lil John song. It's it's very kid friendly. <laughs> what shit? S <laughs> H I T shit. What? <laughs> So that's been our that's been our jam in the house recently. <laughs> I still like that Lil John Lazy Town song. Yeah, that's, that's a great good. that's a that's a great video. Do you like Davy Duck? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay yeah, Daffy Duck. are you sure? Yeah, I'm okay. Like, well, if you were to give Daffy Duck a beard, what kind of beard would it be? I don't. I look. I look back on all Looney Tunes. And it's just like, I guess they're, they're okay, beard. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So let me ask you a question then, because Looney Tunes, all of Looney Tunes, you give an okay beard. This came up in chat uh, when I was streaming this. Um, resting Twitch Face, a.k.a. another John. Mm-hmm. Um, he mentioned that uh, Disney cartoons were trashed here compared to Looney Tunes. And what are your thoughts on that? I agree. Really interesting. Except for the, I mean, I like that the old, old like Steamboat Willie, like Mickey Mouse shit. Yeah, well, I really all, like that. Any car- or the new Mickey Mouse shit is actually like, yeah, pretty. It's really good. Any non-racist cartoon from the '30s is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but they're hard to find. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. It's basically, oh man, I guess I'll play Cuphead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, but it's like, man, those cartoons in the '30s where they were just like, we can do what. It's like in the 90s when desktop publishing became a thing, and it's like you just got drop shadows and glow effects and fucking, <laughs> like the Game Enhancer 9 box. Man, I took a photo of it. Uh, I'll send it to you if you want to see it. It's mm-hmm. the best. It's like, hey, man, remember the 90s? Because it is like the box is, also, how awesome was it that the, it came in the original box? <laughs> I mean, the glue was like non-existent anymore, but I guess the person was like, well, I got this box, fold it up, put it in there. (laughs) It's just a blue sky with an image, like a a PNG of the game enhancer. And then it's just thin red text with a, with a, the drop shadow on this text is larger than the text itself. (laughs) It's awful. It's awful. It's a reminder of what not to do. You turn it on, and it's a screensaver for Johnny Castaway, where he's just sitting on the island, coconut falls on his head, he makes a paper airplane. What's he going to do? Get off that island. <laughs> I don't know. I always like the, like the, the Disney cartoons. My mom used to record those when we get the Disney uh, trial, the Disney Channel trial. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, the free, the free weekend or whatever. Yep. Stock up on VHS tapes. Record, 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 record. Because yeah. <laughs> we're not going to buy it. These tapes are going to have to last. <laughs> See, I'm trying to think of cartoons that I did really like. Like, I remember watching Looney Tunes, but I didn't seek them out. Yeah. Um, they were big on Nickelodeon there for a minute. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. They like, pushed I, them real hard. They had like a, I guess they were out of programming because they're like, here's two hours of Looney Tunes, kids. <laughs> Here, what up, says Lucha Shorts? Four hours of Looney Tunes. Uh huh. Because uh, I just remember, like, I guess I like the scarier ones. I remember the mon- the big furry monster or whatever. Gossamer. Gossamer. Yeah, he's, he's in Duck Dodgers. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. He makes he makes sense in Duck Dodgers. Yeah. Um, 
I guess other stuff was a lot like Looney Tunes are pretty timeless. Like Ken, I can watch Looney Tunes now and could probably still appreciate them. <laughs> oh well, Roadrunner and Coyote. I did. I loved Roadrunner and Coyote. Yeah. Um, I can't say anything else. Like I remember fucking loving, and I guess I like the the more age appropriate spinoffs of Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, Pirates of Dark Water. Captain in the Game Master, like those are the cartoons that stand out to me that I remember really enjoying. Yeah. Looney Tunes is always like nothing else is on, this will do. I feel that. I do. I feel that. And when it's interesting that you bring up like Tailspin and Rescue Rangers and stuff like that because that's part of the Disney afternoon block. Mm-hmm. But I don't consider that it's weird. I don't when someone says Disney cartoons, those don't come to mind. Yeah, like the the don't. old stuff like with Mickey and Donald and all that like yeah. come to mind. Like and then I guess even the old Disney, like, I still have fun memories. I love the one where Donald Duck gets those pills that make his voice sound really good. He becomes yeah. a salesman. Yeah, like, yeah. I fucking love that cartoon. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I do like old Disney cartoons more than I like the old Looney Tunes stuff. Maybe. Okay. Found something new today. Something that awoken something inside <laughs> of me. Well, what's wild is, like, all of these studios – go like have gone through so many different eras you know where it's like it's hard to it's hard to compare them because it's like well i mean there's an era of disney cartoons that are bad and there's an era of looney tunes cartoons that are just the worst mm-hmm. i mean like there's there are definitely some really bad parts of of looney tunes where it's like man this is like i can't believe they made this mm-hmm. <laughs> you know um but yeah, like all the early stuff, I think is is really good, and um, it's weird that you say that they're timeless because I I agree to a to a point. I agree, but there is so there was a um, Duck Dodgers series uh, that I don't know where it originally aired, but this was like I think in the mid two thousands um, that ran for two seasons, and I was like, well, shit, I kind of like to watch at least a little bit of this. Uh, for the show to have some kind of like point of reference so I can at least mention it. Uh, the title, the, the best thing about this show is the intro music because it's Tom Jones and the Flaming Lips. And it's like, it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's so weird and bizarre. And like all the art is very like 60s like style where you like, they're they're kind of like, or 50s style really. They're hearkening back to Buck Rogers, which I've never watched in my life, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, but it like harkens back to that style at least, where it's all this like really cool, like sketchy looking stuff. It's all like with the you know in the different color blocks, and it's like wow, this is great. This is gonna be awesome. And then the cartoon started, and I was like, it's okay. Yeah. It's not bad, but but it, but it's okay. So back to you saying that they're timeless. I agree to a point, but in order to watch this, I had two options. In order to watch Duck Dodgers, I could either rent or buy individual episodes on Amazon for like three bucks a pop, or I could do a seven day free trial on Boomerang. Uh, and, and it's like, well, even if I forget to cancel this, I will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it'll cost me five dollars, and that's cheaper than buying two episodes of this yeah. on on Amazon. It's true. And once that first bill hits, it's like, oh right, shit, yeah, I got to cancel Forgot. that. Right. Delete, delete, delete. Yep. That experience was. Um, it, the 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 fucking app icon for that was like oh shit I gotta hide this on like the fourth screen no one can see this <laughs> 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 like it was it was like a shameful like it was it was it was like a yeah. shameful feeling where it's like this is some boomer ass shit I have on my phone right now. I gotta go <laughs> All right, shout out to the subreddit boomer hentai what <laughs> <laughs> is this a real thing it's a real subreddit. And it's so fucking funny. How do I not know about this yet? So funny. What is it? So, you know, it's all boomer humor. Is it all Stanley from well, The Office? <laughs> well, <laughs> it is like the the weird, I mean, clearly boomer jokes, but like drawings of women with tits down to the floor <laughs> and shit like that. And, you know, Adam and Eve with I their gotcha. privates out and telling boomer jokes and gotcha. shit like that. So like, like the old, like... I mean, I hate to say this because some of these are really good. Some of those Playboy cartoons are really good, but yep. like some of those, like really old ones, right? Yeah, only much artistic style. Yes, humor not, not so, so much. much. <laughs> gotcha. But it is like absolutely like 
Man, I scrubbed through Boomer Hentai for a while, just laughing at how <laughs> so, ridiculous I'm it so is. I'm glad you told me that. I didn't know it existed. And like, um, <laughs> the show. I, I love, yeah, please put it in the show notes. God, I love this. I'm resisting temptation right now to go to the Boomer Hentai right now. I mean, because just then, one of my last interactions with one of my bosses, who is a Boomer, was showing me, he's like, oh, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and it absolutely was some Boomer Hentai. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. But I also, uh, lo- the, speaking of Looney Tunes again, though, um, the Now Hear This, where the guy finds the Satan's horn. Yeah, that's, the, that's a great... That, that I fucking love. It's a great love. short. Yeah, it's probably yeah. one of the best. That and um, the one where Bugs Bunny is drawing all the shit on Daffy, which I can yes. never remember the name yes. of that one. Yep. Uh, but that's a really good one, too. So I guess it's a mixed bag. I c- Honestly, I can't say I like one more than the other. I think they're pretty pretty much the same. <laughs> and they had this run of like Daffy Duck and Porky Pig where like they did these buddy comedies essentially. Like like Duck Dodgers is just one of them because mm-hmm. they also did I don't know if you remember the Robin Hood one, but like that was Yeah. I mean, yeah, that yeah, one I think okay. was like one of the last ones that they did, mm-hmm. but they did other ones as well, but like those are the like Duck Dodgers and the Robin Hood ones stick out in my mind. Yeah. I think they did them all like in the 50s. Um, and it's like, it's really neat that they did that because it's like, it started out Daffy Duck's first appearance, uh, started out with like Porky Pig hunting him because they didn't have an Elmer Fudd at the time, I guess. So it's just like Porky Pig and it, and Porky Pig was like the big Looney Tune. Like he was like the big draw. Mm-hmm. And then Daffy Duck, when they introduced him, people were like, cause look at this fat stuttering pig, everybody. <laughs> Here's our star. We're mocking people. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like, because like Porky Pig was kind of like cute and lovable. And it's like at the time when Daffy Duck first appeared, like no studio was doing the like wacky, like crazy mm-hmm. um, bounce around kind of shit. So mm-hmm. it's like the like the audiences loved them. Mm-hmm. So they're like, well, I guess we got a new we got a new main character, and that's Daffy Duck. So they just started making Daffy Duck short after da- Daffy Duck short. And then, of course, eventually, everyone started doing that. And so he wasn't, he had no edge anymore. Yep. And then um, Bugs Bunny comes around. He got Seinfelded. Totally. He got Seinfelded. Well, he had a lot of good content. Do you know what's some bad Daffy Duck content? The what? This game, Daffy Duck. <laughs> I disagree. The Marvin missions. I like do the, you? Yeah, I like this game. Oh I think, my god! I, I think this is a good game. <laughs> oh, I did not. Man, I did not. Yeah. Oh man, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know when I came over, you were playing the first level. Yeah, it's frustrating. And you were, yeah. I, I played like, the first level for a, yeah. for a, an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey man, how's it going? You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, is this game related or is everything okay? <laughs> when I when I spend an hour on a game and I'm like on the third section of the first level <laughs> fuck fuck that yeah uh i liked it <laughs> i think i think we should explain what it is on on paper it sounds good i feel okay. like this could have been a really good game All with right. a few changes All right. explain to me how this game is communism <laughs> on paper yeah <laughs> uh so you're daffy duck so you, you you at first you have some money you get a mission you could spend your money on various guns or fuel, lives, continues, whatever. Which I think is neat. That is neat. You get a st- I agree. Right out, the, right out the gate, there's a store where yep. you can buy things. And you collect more money for the level so you can buy more guns. They have a, a variety of like five different styles of guns that do different things you can get. That's cool. Yeah. I appreciate that. And uh, then when you start playing the game, the game looks good. It looks like a cartoon. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm good with that. It sounded I could recognize everything Looney Tunes about it. Sound was good. Yeah. So like you said, Daffy Duck had the zany thing going for him yeah. that no one else was doing. He controls like he's fucking zany. <laughs> he's so fast. To, me, to me that does not work. He's fast. <laughs> he's fast and he's slippery and he's floaty and you jump you jump really fucking high and really fucking far. He controls like Luigi from Super Mario Brothers too. Yeah, that's like the the closest analogy that I can get because it's like he does jump high. Luigi in the ice world. Uh, well, I mean, I was landing in lava. I was landing on people. Like, 
I did not have an interaction with a single enemy that I did not get hit. Yeah. Not a single one. Well, <laughs> he is a little slippery. There is an ice world. But yeah, I think he controls. This is a platformer, by the way, an mm-hmm. action platformer. Uh, there is, um, you play as Daffy Duck, as Duck, as Duck Dodger. Sure. Uh, and yeah, it's a platformer where you, it, it gives me Earthworm Jim vibes in that there are a bunch of different guns, like you mm-hmm. mentioned. There's one gun that has infinite ammo, and then there's like- and it a, sucks. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it has infinite ammo. So I mean, that's mm-hmm. its biggest, it's like, that's its biggest draw. Yeah. There's a freeze gun, which I think is neat, because mm-hmm. you can freeze enemies, um, and then switch to another gun and, and, and shoot them to death. There's an electricity gun. Uh, there is a, um, a spread gun, a spread gun. Yeah. A three-way gun. I mm-hmm. think they call it Uh giggity. Menage gun. Uh huh. Mm, baby. Uh, and then there is the, uh, antimatter gun, uh, which is like the strongest gun in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, so that gave me earthworm gym vibes because that's another thing in earthworm gym is like, you get all these different guns that do yeah. different things. Uh, also the, the this is a platformer with huge levels. Huge. There are levels. huge levels. They're non-linear. So yeah, you have a jetpack to explore them. You do have a jetpack that does like, require fuel. And I feel like that's a very cool element. Mm-hmm. I like that element a lot. You yeah. know, it made up for some of the platforming elements to me, like the leaps of faith and shit like there that. Are were, those were, for were, sure. They were tempered knowing you have a jetpack. As long as you have fuel. Yep. And I do think that the biggest weakness, uh, the biggest disappointment for me is that the jetpack feels really good mm-hmm. and it's fun, uh, but it requires fuel that uh, is, uh, oh. yeah, that's very yeah. hard to come by. And then it gets frustrating because you, as you go through the level, you will see areas with power ups like health that you desperately need that you could access, but only if you had. The fuel for your and I feel like you have enough in the level just to barely push you up high enough to get every secret, like just enough. If you know exactly where they are, just barely tap your jetpack to get you up there, and then don't don't do it anymore. Don't have fun wizarding the level with it, just a little bit, just to get you that platform you can't quite jump to and get your secret. That checks out. I feel (laughs) you know I don't you know I don't know that, but that that seems right. Yeah, yeah, because they're they're not very uh, generous with fuel like you can find it in the level yeah not very much but it's it's pretty rare to find it um and i do think it's a shame because it is it is fun to fly around with the jetpack it feels like um it kind of controls like um the b suit and little nemo the dream master Uh except instead of having to rapidly press the button to flap the wings you just hold it down but as far as like it feels like that Mm -hmm. Um, where it's like the moment you take the your finger off the button, you start to like fall as if you were coming down off the apex of a jump. Yeah, um, and that feels really good and that's fun. Then you can pick it back up before you hit the the, the floor. I, I love that. I just wish they would let you do do more more of, of it. it. Yeah. yeah, let's do more of the fun thing instead of the most minimal amount of the fun thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I like I like the platforming. I I do think that. Um, see, I hate. I thought the jumping was hard for me to precisely jump because you go so high and so far you do and then when you're firing your gun you go backwards yeah there are gun like physics. i fell off into lava so many times trying to do all the fucking hits it takes to kill an enemy and then right off into the lava but you can do fun shit with that gun though yeah with those gun physics if you combine it with a jetpack and face the opposite direction you want to go and just shoot you can pro- you can propel yourself mm. with with the gun. Yeah, there are um, areas in the game where if you duck and shoot, uh, you'll uh, you can access little narrow passageways and stuff that would be too narrow for you to walk oh, walk through. Okay, so they it, it seems like something that was they did intentionally. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked it, but I could see where I mean there are definitely situations where it kind of sucked because it's like if you're standing next to lava and you fire your gun you're probably gonna wind up in that lava Mm -hmm. like it doesn't knock you back so far but it's just enough where it's like well i have to i have to shoot this enemy five times to kill it do i have the amount of space do i have five shots worth of space Mm -hmm. between me and this lava but then i also feel like they're very forgiving with 
with the lava because it's like it's not an instant kill. Right. And you do have a fair amount of health and a fair amount of lives. It's still hard. It's still it's very <laughs> it, hard. It, it's, it's very it's, hard. The best tip I got was from Snesh Drunk talking about this game. Because there's also a shield button. Yes. So he was like, walk through an enemy immediately. As soon as you can, pull out your shield. Once they hit it, drop it, fire off a few rounds, bring your shield back totally. up. Absolutely. That's all you that's all you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Drunk in chat had to remind me that the shield was there because I normally when I play a game, I'm super aggressive. I just want to kill things. That's the fun, is mm-hmm. to kill things and get through it as fast as possible. Like that, I'm usually, I don't like using shields. I don't like waiting. I just want to fucking destroy. Um, and that's not, I mean, I, the speed run time on this is like 15 minutes. So clearly you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's glitchless. Like, I mean, it's <laughs> just like, wow. Um, but like, I don't know. So it's, it's never in my mind, oh, use a shield. But you absolutely, I feel like you, you need to do it mm. in this game. So I eventually, the level I was in that I was in for fucking ever, and when I finally died and was out of everything, it was like, okay, fuck it, I'm not going back to this, was so early on. I hadn't even gotten the first boss yet, and I ran out of jet fuel, Yeah, and the level was so big, and I had to platform my way around it, and everything looked the same. It's all brown rocks and lava. With these giant, green bird monsters who are the perfect height to you so it's like no matter what i do i duck i'm hit Uh i stand i'm hit i jump well i jump too far and i hit them i can't go they're in they're so big they're in hallways you can't get by them so every time i encountered one i got hit every time i do think so there are it does feel like there are enemies that are unfair Mm -hmm. but one thing that i think this game does really well and and I, I I think this game is difficult, but I do think it's very forgiving. Uh, kind of going back to like you know the lava isn't instant kill. There are very few things in this game that are instant kill. There are some bottomless pits. Those suck. I hate them. Uh, mainly because usually when you run into them, this game is like as I said earlier, very nonlinear. You can take different paths to finish the level. Uh, so what that means is you're constantly moving up to different segments or moving down. And by that I mean like scr- several screens worth. Yeah. Like, I mean, several screens worth. Like Fast platforms, side to side, up and down. But, absolutely. Yeah. So when you run into a bottomless pit, it's like, oh, I'm not used to falling down a thing and it not con- scrolling down. You're not sure what's <laughs> death and what's you go to the next right. area. Yeah. They do give you a map. Like if you press select, I think, or start one or the other, you get like a, you get a map, which is, oh, which is I didn't know that. really okay. nice because it doesn't, really tell you where you need to go but at least you can kind of look at the map and be like okay well i see there's kind of this path here let me go and check that out so in that regards i'm not saying this is a metroidvania but in but (laughs) but, (laughs) there is backtracking (laughs) but in in that regard it does kind of have this like feel to it um where you do martian vania it is a martian vein it's a marvin vein marvin perfect (laughs) But like um, one of the one of the ways I feel like this game is very forgiving is if something hits you, you have a long time of you do have a long like your, time of invincibility. Your, yeah, very your true. iframes they last yep. for a very long time. Very true. And my strategy would be: all right, I got hit. Move, run, move as run. fast as I yep. can in the direction that I think I like need to go. Like if an enemy hit me, it's like I'm not gonna sit here and try to kill. Them. No, God, like no. you just if you get hit, God, run, no. run as far as you can. Sometimes yep. an enemy will drop a power up when you kill it, but it's so rare. Like why? Yeah, you know, you're more likely to just find power ups scattered throughout the level. Yep. One thing I didn't make it to a boss, but I watched a boss being fought. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I wish because normally you have to have if you use your infinite shotgun, then takes a lot of hits. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hits. The bosses have like a million hit points. Yeah. yeah. I wish... I, that's why I love like Mega Man bosses. I love being able to see the enemy's health meter or have some sort of understanding of how damaged they are. Sure. I feel like it amps up the excitement as opposed to just being a trial and frustration when you don't know how cl- close you were or have any sense of where, where, how far you got. I understand. I do feel like, and I, I agree on the point that I feel like the bosses are, they feel like they are made artificially more difficult mm. by just having them pump hits into these, into these bosses. But I mean, like for example, the first boss has three phases. 
So, I mean, it's like he, he comes out with like a bus. It's Marvin the Martian in his spaceship, mm-hmm. the, the Martian maggot. Uh, and he's got like this buzzsaw arm. And when you do enough damage, that buzzsaw arm turns into like scissors and then it turns into a gun. So you do have some kind of indication, but it's just in its different phases. So as instead of it like showing damage or like or having a health bar, I agree with you. I would love to have those things in the mm-hmm. game. I, I think it would uh, enrich the experience yeah. and make it less frustrating. But I mean, it's not like it's completely yeah, a-, a to B. Right. Yeah. And I and I do think that this game is um, a very video game ass video game. Uh, like. I feel like there are like there's a boss the whole like second mission because like the first mission is like in the lava and the, like this underground subterranean um, deal. Uh, the second mission is um, y- on the back of a sea serpent essentially for the first part, and it's like this ocean world, oh, like in Super Turrican Two when you're running that big sandworm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, except it's except the sea serpent is stationary essentially, uh, and the way it works is uh, Marvin the Martian will uh, uh, occasionally fly by and he'll drop these pellets into the water. And the pellets are Instagrow Martian soldiers, essentially. Mm-hmm. That's how, like, you know, he uses the watering can earlier to, on to, to make them grow. Yeah. And they just sprout up these big, like, flamingo looking centurion motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, and he'll do that on this water world. And it's just like three of these guys will just sprout out and, and, and start shooting you, uh, which I think is really cool. I think it's really neat that that's how. Like they're not just it's not just here's a level plop 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 enemies. It's like they're thinking of like creative ways to like introduce these enemies and yeah. create these set pieces, which I think is really, really neat. And I think is like really interesting in platformers because they do get very samey. And there are levels in this game that are super samey. Like I I agree with you, the first mission, like with the with the lava and all that, it it, it is samey. But like the second the second area, which is this water world, like there's a boss fight in it where you fight two headed serpents that like gave me super ghouls and ghost vibes. Mm, and it's like, this okay. is okay. I like this. And then after you beat them, now you're underwater and there's like a series of tubes that you go through. And that gave me again Earthworm Gym vibes. So much to the so much to the point where I had to look up, did this game come out before Earthworm Gym? And it did, which makes me think that like mm. Earthworm Jim, I think borrowed from this game because like there's a whole segment like the whole like tubes under the water thing is like I, when I first started My playing least it, favorite part of Earthworm Jim. It's yeah, that's a that's a rough one. That's a rough <laughs> memorize this level kind of kind of thing. Hot around your little bubble, yeah, mm, didn't yeah. Mm. Mm. So I don't know, like I don't. <laughs> In my research, I didn't find anything that said that, you know, Earthworm Jim was inspired by Daffy Duck, the Marvin missions. But I mean, when you look at them side by side, it's kind of like, you're right. You're right. I don't know. With the guns and then especially that level. Mm. Did you beat it? I I did beat the game, but I did use a 50 lives cheat code Mm. to do it. Uh, It took me 48 lives to get to the game. (sighs) Damn. Um. But I wanted to see all the content, you know, and it's it's more fun for me to play it than it is to watch it. Experience on, it. yeah, because yeah. I like I'm one of those people. Like I want to, I want to, I want to play it, even if I'm doing it with you know water wings on. I want, I want to play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I finished it. It is, it is difficult. It gets um, more difficult than that. Like the third mission is an is an ice stage. Um, which honestly isn't that hard compared to like the first two. And then the fourth mission is, um, honey, I shrunk the Daffy. You get shrunk down on this Amazonian planet. And so it's kind of like you're fighting bugs and stuff. Yeah. Um, that one's really hard because they decide, uh, you're going to fight a boss at the end of each segment. So you fight this dragonfly, you fight all these different kinds of bugs, and they all have a million hit points. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you eventually fight a um, giant Marvin the Martian. So you essentially fight his sneakers and uh, like a big Trying gun. Trying to stomp you. Yeah, okay. yeah pretty much. Um, I do feel like if the bosses didn't have a lot of hit points, 
I feel like they felt the game wasn't hard enough, and then they just inflated the hit points. At the Let's go too had. far the other way. Yeah. Because the patterns are simple, mm-hmm. really. Like, I mean, the patterns are really simple. It didn't take me a long time to figure out a lot of the patterns for the bosses. It's just, okay, I know what to do. Now I just need to do it a lot of times yeah. and not fuck up. So that's kind of that thing. The fear fit- of the American uh, rental market. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then there's like, there's only five missions in the game. The fifth mission is all on Mars. This ties back into me saying some of the levels are very samey. This, the last level is very samey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it kind of. entirely on the Mars rover. <laughs> right. When did this come out? Man, did you know that? I'm glad you brought up the Mars rover. Like one of the most recent Mars rovers. I'd say recent, but most recent, probably not. Um, they the patches, the mission patches were uh, Duck Dodgers and Marvin the Martian. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like official, <laughs> like official ass, like NASA patches. And it's like, okay, that's kind of that's kind of. Looney Tunes is suing the shit out of NASA. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's what happened with NASA. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mel Brooks or Mel, oh, what's his name? Uh, Blanc, Blanc. Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc. Blank, Blank, Mel Blanc. Yeah. Mel Blanc I, owns NASA. I go, his estate owns NASA now. <laughs> yeah, totally, absolutely. Cape Canaveral, he owns the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, got it all. He's got it all. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of a simple game. I hate to say that because. It's a Looney Tunes game. It should be a simple game. Yeah. It really should be. Yeah, I agree. There's a, a nutty attack. I don't know oh, if you knew yeah, about the nutty you get, attack. You go nuts. Yeah. yeah, 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 you, yeah. you press press the a, woo, 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 a button woo, woo. and yeah. yeah, he does a screen clear, kills mm. everything. He becomes invincible and kills everything on the screen. So, I mean, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any achievements? Um, I have a few. I have a few achievements that uh that came in from Twitch chat. I've got uh, th- there uh, there were several that came in. Here are my three favorites. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one is Untitled Duck Game, which mm. on achievement title alone, mm. I'm a huge fan of yeah. that title. <laughs> um, in order to unlock Untitled Duck Game, uh, get the gardener wet and have a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that came in from uh, Postmaster General Damien. Uh, the second achievement I have is uh. Rocket Duck burning up his fuel up here alone. In order to unlock that, you run out of fuel while using the jetpack and fall to your death. Mm, yeah. Okay. Got that one. Yeah, I got that one as well. That one came in from Captain Valo. Uh, and then uh, the last achievement I have is press X to nut. <laughs> <laughs> in order to unlock press X to nut, uh, perform a nutty attack. And that came in from Dr. Drunk, nice. a.k.a. Faceful of Alien Wing Wong. Uh, do you have any achievements? Uh, I'm trying to think of what would be a good name for it. Uh, something where you use all your ammo from all your special guns trying to get through the level and just still not being able to do it. Bunker Hill. There you are. Right, <laughs> done. Ducker Hill. <laughs> du- there Ducker you go. Hill. Fucking, yeah, that's the best joke I've come up with in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I think it's interesting that this game was developed by Icom. They're the the Mac Adventure, the Mac Adventure people. They did like Deja Vu and Shadowgate and Uninvited. Um, they also did a bunch of other Looney Tunes SNES games. Not right. all of them. They didn't do Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday, yep. which I mean, I gotta say, is a much worse game. I think, in my opinion, than Daffy Duck. The I don't remember. Missions. I remember having any good memories of that whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, the only good memory I have of Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday is the fact that you go to uh, Wacky Land. There is that Wacky Land mm. level. It's not a good level, but I do like Wacky yeah. Land, and I do like the Dodo. <laughs> <laughs> um, they also did Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally, Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage, uh, Rocco's Modern Life, which we've, which we've okay. done, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, Nickelodeon Guts. One day. So yeah, okay. one day. Uh, there's an N64 game uh, that was developed by Paradigm Entertainment. Uh, have you heard of them? No, I hadn't. Uh-huh. They, I think they developed like two games. <laughs> one of those was Duck Dodgers, uh, and it looks pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Like I was, it looks like a 
I mean, a 3D platformer. So, like, as far as that An goes, you, know, 3D right. yeah, yeah. you could, yeah, you yeah. could picture it in your oh, mind. Oh, so well. Oh, so well. <laughs> do you collect like protons and shit? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, oh. <laughs> but uh, as far as that, like, there's a like a recreation of like the opening to Duck Dodgers. Like, it's all recreated like low poly 3D. That's mm. pretty impressive, honestly. Like, seriously. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, all right. I have some questions for you. Yeah, sweet. Tyler? Yes, Dave. I don't know how much this game is. Daffy Duck, the Marvin Missions. If you were to buy it right now, how much would you expect to pay for it? Seventeen fifty nine. Tyler? Actual retail value of Daffy Duck, the Marvin Missions, loose for the Super Nintendo. On price charting, on average, at <laughs> the time of this recording, yes, I never do that in the same order. Eleven dollars. Okay. Um, I think it's worth it. I do. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I think I know you. I know you don't. I think this is. I think this is. I think this is a. This is this game surprised me. Yeah. I thought this game was going to be pretty awful. Yeah. And I know. And I said, I hear it's supposed to be good. (laughs) And then we walk about, we walk away feeling the opposite of each other. Yeah, that that totally is what happened. I, I, yeah, I, I, this one really surprised me. I I expected it to be really bad. Uh, I played the Game Boy version as well. Mm. Um, That is pretty bad. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That one was, the Game Boy version was developed by Sunsoft. So, um, Uh, yeah. Here's our last hurrah before bankruptcy. (laughs) Uh, with t- all our canceled Looney Tunes games we had in, in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, if you were to give this game a beard mm-hmm. that sums up how you feel about it, what kind of beard would it be? I would give it my saffron red goatee whenever I was shaving and the guard fell off my clippers and I had to just go ahead and give myself a goatee. So disappointed, but it's like okay. Well, goatee's okay. <laughs> Man, now you're going easy on I'll, the game. I'll I'll be okay. I'm not happy with it. No one else nope. is either. But I dropped my shaving garden lava. It's better than no, it's better than no beard. So, <laughs> Tyler, if you give this game a pair of glasses, what kind of glasses would you give it? I would have to give it your glasses. Pushed up on your nose, okay. So they become opaque but shiny in a victory pose, uh, like menacing anime glasses. Yeah, but like, yeah. but like, not like menacing, but like, haha, success. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just because you like. Yeah. It. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's not like I really beat it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that's fine. I used the code. Although I got, I think that I could, like, after, like, using the code as a crutch, it's like, mm. okay, well, now I know what to do. I if, might be able to do this. If Parsifal could beat Tempest using that 50 live code <laughs> and Ready Player One and still get the prize, then you're good. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, Tyler. Yes, Dave. Does this game belong on Tadpog's Top 100? I do not think so. I agree with that. Although, I, for, in my opinion, in my opinion, I would, I would give it an honorable mention, just because it was surprisingly yeah. better than I would expect a Looney Tunes Super Nintendo game to be. But then that might also, honestly, that might come into play. That like, I mean, I liked Looney Tunes a lot when I was a kid. Like, and specifically Duck Dodgers. Like, I remember like seeing that first Duck Dodgers short and like being like holy shit like this is really really yeah. really cool uh because there's just so much weird stuff in it like like those martians that like are little beans that marvin pours water on and then they just sprout up the full-grown yeah. goons that was cool uh and i like that they put that kind of stuff in the game i mean i feel like this game had a lot of good elements to it I just think yeah. really the controls are what killed it for me yeah solely the controls I- they do take getting used to if, for sure. If they were if they were tight, yeah, and they're I would have had a much better time yeah. with this game. Yeah, I get it, and they're because they are not tight. I mean, yeah. they're to, to me they're not like 
I don't know. They're they're definitely not tight, but but I also love playing as Luigi in Super Mario Brothers too, mm-hmm. and that was totally the vibe that I got from 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 Daffy. He even does like in mid jump. He even shifts his legs. Yeah. Like he doesn't do it as many times as Luigi does, yeah. but he does it. And it's like, are they are they referencing Super Mario <laughs> Brothers too, or am I just? inferring too much uh, here or what? what's going on. I see where Luton would do that, but I could also see where they were stealing. It, so. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, would you like to know what Flopsy has please, to say about this game? Please. AKA the ultimate Nintendo guy to the SNES library 1991 through 1998 by Pat Contry, courtesy of Monster Mold Mike. Uh, they give Daffy Duck the Marvin missions which is availability is uncommon. Uh, they give it four stars. Four. This was as good as SOS. I mean, um, I mean, I really liked SOS too. So, I mean, I don't know what you're looking for. I would say, yeah, they're on par. Oh, I don't, man. Okay. I, I mean, I think, you really like this game. I think this is a good game. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good enough game that it's like. I mean, when I was like in my notes, it's like, is this on Tadbog's top 100? It's like, maybe, but I'm not going to fight for it. <laughs> I mean, I would put it in the top half. Oh, yeah, easy. And that's easy for that's, me. That's, that's, just because I, the premise, not for me. But yeah, that's, that's the best I can do for it. It was also, the review was also done by KY. Uh, okay. that, those tend to skew higher. Yep. We've seen. So um, yeah, maybe four is a, maybe four is a little. A I mean, little too three, high. Three is what I was th- thinking it would be. Best I can do is three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have uh, some other questions mm, mm-hmm. that came in from one Ross Rachel Green from Hell across yes. the pond. Uh, if you'd like to to see what that's all about, we, uh, in the form of a quiz entitled "Games Released in April." Okay. Ross begins. Well, I did it. I bought a PC. I spent far too much, but it has a three a thirty seventy. Yeah, you did spend too much because I'm looking at that <laughs> shit. You spent too much. You, I guess you it. didn't get that raffle to buy. No, man. I've been entering a new egg lottery like every single time. And it's like, Ross, I get it, dude, because it's like Oh, this one's bundled in with something I don't want? Fuck it. Who cares? Enter. <laughs> it's like I just select all of them. And it's like if I win any if I win the privilege to to buy any of these, I'll I'll buy the bundle. If I end up not wanting the rest of the shit, I'll just fucking sell it or eat the cost. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like I'm ready. I'm ready to build a new machine. Um Okay, let's see. I'm curious Ross. Okay, okay. He answers my question. Mm-hmm. Uh it's in a nice case. Pre-made machines I have seen are fugly cases. Yes, there's an Alienware that I've been looking at that has the card in it. Those Alienware cases, oh my fucking oh, god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like they took a Wii and was like, I guess we just cram computer parts in here, mm-hmm. uh, and then put like a blue oval on the front. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rosk says I've seen the cases are fugly. Uh, it turned up in two days. That's really good. Uh, I have yet to play anything on it that might push the limits of the machine, but I am sure that is only a matter of time. Also, there seems to be some confusion about surnames being in capitals. For no reason at all, it's something that cops do here, and it's a habit I have just adopted, so there's no deeper meaning. I don't know what he means by that. I don't either. Is there like a... Did we say something last week about... Capitals. I don't remember anything about last week. Yeah, me neither. It's just gone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ross continues. There's a final morality question, which I believe the Spicy Boys will have different answers. Okay. Much like our opinions on Daffy Duck and, yeah. and Modern Missions. <laughs> uh, so this quiz contains games that were released in April in the U.S., and I will include the year they were released, so you can get two points per title hmm. for correct game and year. Damn. Okay. I don't know if these are all Super Nintendo games or not, but maybe they are. First question. This game was the third in its series, though the first for the SNES. It is also the only of its series to have a true sequel. I have no clue. 
whatsoever what that could be. I have a feeling it's a game that we know mm-hmm. because the question is pretty general. Because it's so vague. Yeah. But it could literally be anything. <laughs> it's the third in its series, so not Super Mario World. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, could be Super Metroid. Could be. That's the third in its series, Metroid yep. and then uh, Metroid on Game Boy. Yep. And then Super Metroid. But it's the it's the official sequel. It is also the only of its series to have a true sequel. So I don't know. Does Super Metroid have a true sequel? It's not Castlevania because that's Castlevania Four. Because I'm trying to think. Because after that, it was the 3D ones. It was Metroid Prime until Metroid um, Zero Mission and Fusion. Yeah, and, and, see, I and Zero played, Mission is a remake of the the first one. I haven't played any of those. So I guess it could be, unless Metroid Fusion is a sequel. Yeah, I don't know. The third in its series, so it's not a Final Fantasy game. Final Earth, Fantasy. Earthbound was Mother Two, mm-hmm. so it's not that. Yep. Super Metroid is fine with me. All right, I don't feel good about that, but I have no other no I other no option. other guess. Yep. All right, uh, Super Metroid locking it in. It is the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Uh, that came out uh, April 13th. And okay, I can't. Because it had the link between worlds. Yep. Feel, that one felt bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> felt bad to whiff that. A link Between Worlds is one of those games I also played through so quickly that I don't remember a whole bunch of it. Yeah. I haven't played it. I own it. I haven't played it. Very good. I've heard it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it's great. Yep. <laughs> uh, next question. This one-on-one fighting game was the first in its series, originally released in the arcades in 1991, and featured a two-lane fighting arena. Is that 19, art, of, no, art of fighting? Art of fighting. Yeah, I think so. I'm good with that. Let's log it in. Yep. It is Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, April 1st, 1993. We're not even guessing on the dates because I mean, come no. on. Yeah, <laughs> the nineties, yeah, right? We can't. Yeah, we can't get the game. We're not going to get the date. Um, but I appreciate the effort that you put in. Uh, next question: This game was originally released on NES and Game Boy, but started as an arcade game called Hermetica. Kirby. Well, Kirby was yeah, any uh, ga- Game Boy and NES, an but yeah, not an arcade. Hermetica. Is it like you're playing as a hermit? Yeah. <laughs> it's the hermit simulator. Or it's a it's a it's a female harmonica. <laughs> a a female herma- harmonica? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So a harmonica, <laughs> like by default, is male. It's male, it's yeah. masculine. That's the French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hand me the hermetica. Oh. He's a harmonica with vagina. <laughs> no. You blow it and it makes a very pleasant sound. <laughs> a lustrous vagine. <laughs> I have no idea. It's like a cave of giggles. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no clue. Hermetica? Hermetica. I've heard that before, but I don't know where. Yeah, I don't know. Um, NES European Prime Goal. <laughs> <laughs> European Prime Goal. Logging it in. It is Yoshi's Cookie. Hmm. 1993. Next question, Tyler. This game, developed by Silicon and Synapse, features three characters escaping an alien who is taking them to an intergalactic zoo. It's got to be the Lost Vikings, two? right? Ooh. Is two were the one they're on the... Ooh, I don't know. He didn't say sequel, so Lost Vikings. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, I don't know. Do you go with that? Yep. Lost Vikings, locking it in. You want to guess a year? 93. All right. It is The Lost Vikings, April 29th, 1993. Well done, Tyler. Nailed it. Got it. Next next question. This game is a follow-up to Congo's Caper and requires you to collect seven rainbow stones. It's the sequel to Congo's Caper? Uh, Apparently. You collect seven rainbow stones. I mean, I'm going back to that Troll Islands. (laughs) <laughs> yeah the, what it, the stone something yeah the gem yeah gemstone the st- something <laughs> the stone cutters <laughs> in, your, in the simpsons the troll illuminati <laughs> <laughs> 
it is. It's like the Stone Brothers or some shit like that. Look, I've already done the best I, I can think, do. I think, yeah, it's the the Stone Wardens. <laughs> the Stone Wardens locking it in. It is <laughs> Joe and Mac 2, <laughs> Lost in the Tropics, uh, which was 1994. That was a follow-up to Congo's Caper? Because I'd heard that the yeah the true sequel to Joe and Mac is something different entirely. I need to play Congo's Caper. I just got it. I need to <laughs> pop it in. I, all I did was plug, it, made sure it worked. All right, turns on. Great, perfect. It, not not going to sue Adam. <laughs> into the bookshelf. <laughs> there you go. Next question. Uh, this game originally for the Amiga in 1992. So we know the year. Mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> At least for the Amiga. Uh, had four stages, Ignition, Steel Wheel, Beatbox, and Nightmare. Steel Wheel? Beatbox? Did Parappa the Rapper come out in 1992 yeah. mm-hmm. for the like, Amiga? I was like, the, the modern Oregon Trail? The Portland Trail? <laughs> <laughs> Ignition. Steel Wheel, Beatbox, and Nightmare. It's a racing game. Uh, yeah, presumably with ignition, right? And wheels. Mm-hmm. Be- top Gear? Sure, Top Gear. Top Gear. Fuck it, why not? Locking it in. It is Pinball Dreams 1994. Car wow. All right, next question. Doing great. Uh, this is a side-scrolling beat-em-up based on an animated film of the same name. Freaking Power Rangers? <laughs> animated, though, right? Oh, shit. He did say animated. Yeah, you're right. Good call. Turtles in Time? I don't... Well, that wasn't an animated film. That was a animated That's based on TV an animated show. film. Animated film. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. For the Super Nintendo. Shit. Okay, animated film. S-H-I-T. <laughs> shit. Shit. <laughs> Snow White's not a beat em up. <laughs> no, unfortunately. <laughs> the Lion King, not a beat em up. All the animated movies I can think of now they're are not, not beat em ups. Yeah, they're Disney movies. Five Goes West, a beat em up. Probably. Um, that's a Super Scope game. <laughs> uh, we're back. That was not a beat em up. <laughs> animated film that was a beat em up. Fuck, man. This. I feel like I should know this. If we do this and it's a TV show, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, I agree. Yeah, an <laughs> animated film that was turned into a beat 'em up. Yeah, Oliver and Company. <laughs> Man, that would be awesome. <laughs> the Aristocats, <laughs> <laughs> the Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. Cool World was a puzzle game. Right. Dude, I almost went Cool World, too. <laughs> Bay Bay's Kids, is that it's not really a beat em up? Not really. Jesus Christ. I guess it could be, isn't it? Bay Bay's Kids, locking it Bay in. Bay Bay's Kids, that's all I can. Bay Bay's <laughs> Kids. <laughs> 94. 1994. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Ross. You got there, buddy. I'm <laughs> super amazed. And is it a beat em up? I just remember hating it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. This stock car racing game was licensed by a then racer, now commentator for the sport. I am never going to get this. Who commentates are on, on NASCAR? I don't. I have no idea. Jeff Gordon's racing. <laughs> Jeff Gordon's racing, <laughs> locking it in, because that's as good as it's going to get mm-hmm. for me. It is Kyle Petty's No Fear Racing. Mm, okay. You have a guess for the year? 92. 95. Oh, damn. 95, the height of No Fear shirts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I love my No Fear shirts back in middle school those in the Massimo <laughs> shirts Mwah. the Massimo shirts yeah oh. Brandon in his Massimo shirt and his silver tab jeans mm, big dog shirts big Johnson shirts <laughs> man oh so many inside out big oh, Johnson yeah. shirts oh yeah yeah never turn your big Johnson inside out <laughs> <laughs> or Marilyn Manson shirts turned inside out at Tater Day oh yeah now like, we- fuck you I'm not in school <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, next question. This game is a clone of Super Super Puyo Puyo and was subtitled Ghost Trap in Europe. I feel like I should know this, actually. Is this, uh, I don't know, man, Wario's Woods or Kirby's, Kirby's Avalanche? Avalanche? It's got to be Kirby's Avalanche. Puyo Puyo, that's yeah. an enemy right in Kirby. Uh, no, I don't think so. Mm. But it's like... Puyo Puyo is a puzzle game, like a Japanese puzzle game that's like or, rarely Puyo Puyo here yeah. in North America. I it's think always, Kirby's Avalanche. I think Kirby's Avalanche, too. That's That seems right. Yeah. Uh, do you have a guess for the year? 94. 94? Okay. Uh, it is Kirby's Avalanche, April 25th, 1995. So very close. All right, all right. I'm proud of us. Uh, next question. Andy Whitehurt, creative director of House Technica uh, described the team's approach to the graphics, quote, what we were trying to show is that despite 16-bit graphical limitations, you can actually make a video game look like a cartoon. We wanted FF to look like a 50s or 60s Warner Brothers cartoon and to have the same zany feel, almost Dr. Seuss-like, which nobody had tried, uh, has tried before in a video game. We wanted FF. He says we wanted FF to look like a 50s or 60s Warner Brothers cartoon. Uh, It's not Final Fight. (laughs) (laughs) It's not Fatal Fury. Because until he said that, then I was like, Yoshi's Island? Because of the way the cartoony, crayony sort of look, but... I can, I can, I could feel that, but I think we need to... old Warner Brothers cartoon. House House Technica, Mm -hmm. I believe, would be the, the developer... Um, I'm trying to think of Super Nintendo games that look like old 50s or 60s Warner Brothers. Co- cool World? <laughs> but I think he couldn't mean the Mickey Mouse games because he's not trying to look for a Warner Brother look. Yeah, that is true. They probably would have straight up said Disney. Unless, unless this is um, a Looney Tunes game. It could be because, yeah. Sunsoft didn't publish all of them. Yep. ICOM didn't develop all of them. There's that Speedy Gonzalez game, mm-hmm. uh, which I can't remember the full name of. Um, Fast and the Furious? <laughs> the Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. Gonzalez. The Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Speedy Gonzalez family. Uh, I mean, that might be it. I'd say go with that one. All right, Speedy Gonzalez game. Freaking Frijoles. Locking it in. It is Frantic Flea. Wouldn't have got there. No, never. Uh, which came out in... 92. 96. I looked, so I couldn't guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it, except for the morality question. All right, let's All right. see, Ross. Uh, Ross says, you find a game by the side of the road, and it turns out to be very rare and expensive. The next day, you hear that there was a break-in nearby, and the game you found was among those stolen. Do you, A, (laughs) this is biased, do the right thing and return it? You gotta have a morality question and be like, do the right thing or do the wrong thing? You can't just do morality. Yeah, there's no like... Should have been a, well, what do you do, not an (laughs) option. The very short, here's a very short version of this question. A thing happens. Do the right thing, do the wrong thing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, first answer is a do the right thing and return it because now the police are looking for it. There's nothing you could do with it or B keep it because you'll never have another chance to own it despite not ever being able to sell it. I would have. So it's not like I'm do the right thing. Return this game. It's like, no, I don't want to get fucking caught with this shit (laughs) and have to pay the price for it. If even if I just found it, I don't fucking believe that. I don't want to run the risk of going to jail over a rare game. Fuck that. Give it back just to get this hot shit off of my hands. Yeah, but who's going to know <laughs> if you don't try to sell it? I don't know. Which, I mean... I mean, you got to tell somebody who might tell somebody who might tell somebody. No, you don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to. I mean, but I Look, don't know. I'm very if, good if about... If anyone finds out about it. Yeah. If any single person finds out about it, you could go to jail. Yeah. 
All right, you convinced me. I'll do the right. <laughs> I'll I'll do the right thing. I'll 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 skip out on Renegade. I'll go Paragon uh-huh, all right. <laughs> with Tyler because I don't want to go to jail. But that's the only reason. Yeah, <laughs> because, yeah, that's the only reason I would do it too. Because I mean, look, if I just found it, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. The number of times that I don't know. I or a friend has had something stolen and then it's reported to the police and it's like, thanks, you'll never see it again, but thanks for letting us know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's kind of one of those things. Yeah. Do, also, do I know the person who, like, if I know the person, which I probably do, because let's face it, if they have like a bunch of Super Nintendo games yeah. and they're local, <laughs> I might know them. Yeah. If I know the person, then obviously, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, oh, also, I don't want to go to jail. So yeah, I guess, yeah. But if, it, but if it's a... If they're reporting it on the news. Well, he didn't say that. He says you hear that there was a break-in nearby. Mm. What if the person you hear it from is conning you? (laughs) And they're like, yeah, Jeff, his house was broken in. Stole all the Super Nintendo games. You haven't found any, have you? (laughs) Give it to me. I'll give it to him. Just laying around here. Give it to me. Also, I've never turned on the news. Hard stop. Uh, but also, <laughs> never turned on the news and they've been like, this just in. One rare Super Nintendo game was stolen. <laughs> Pictured <from> a- <laughs> here. <laughs> Known as ha- Hagain. <laughs> Final Fight Guy. <laughs> also, it, you found the game on the side of the road. Like, I get it if it's reported stolen, but, like, I got to verify that that shit was actually... I need to see a police report. Mm -hmm. Like, I just go to the police station and be like, can you show me the police, like, the the last... All the police reports you have for the last five days? (laughs) (laughs) Freedom of Information Act. I know my rights. (laughs) Come Uh, on. (laughs) Why? Uh, No reason. (laughs) (laughs) Doubt. (laughs) All right. Good question, Ross. And you were right. We were split. We were split on that. Up until the fear jail was put in. (laughs) Yep. Tom lived his life in fear of anal rape in prison. (laughs) Everything Tom did was around not ever going to prison and avoid anal rape. Boondocks is a good show. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good show. David, I'm kind of curious what we're going to get next week. All right. Yes, me too. Would you like to find out? Yeah, I'm going to go get this better up peripheral and plug it in. Just okay. make sure it's got the full full juice going to it. Put oh, one man, in on so the ground. Oh, man, so much juice. So much juice. So much juice in that. Man. Then use it water crazy kid style. It's like that batch just waiting around for sex. <laughs> <laughs> so much juice. So much juice. I'm going to stop right before, it, right before I'm done again. <laughs> Well, then you know when you finally get a hit, it's going to be a home run. Yep. Grand slam. <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> so pull, uh, no, no, hole in a random direction. Mm-hmm. Say the prayer. We all love to say. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. 416. Mm, right in the middle there. Yeah. You're not going to guess this letter. You no way, no way you're gonna guess this H. letter. The peas, peas, new one. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Plock, boy, I wish mm. you might like this one. I don't know. You might be excited for this. Okay, I am not. Okay, <laughs> this might be my cup come up its for SOS <laughs> and Daffy Duck, <laughs> the Marvin missions. Mm-hmm. I believe this has to be probably an RPG mm-hmm. called Paladin's Quest. I feel like that's vaguely in my memory somewhere. If, if that's not an RPG, <laughs> we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> like, if this turns out to be a hockey game, we are real pissed <laughs> off. You know, Jim Paladin, yeah. the hockey player. Because <laughs> I don't want to play an RPG that's not in the top 100, but I want to play it more than a, po- than a fucking hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I vaguely remember Paladin's Quest. I don't remember liking it. I remember renting something Perfect. like it, and I didn't like it. <laughs> Great. I liked everything as a kid. So. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's, I mean, maybe it's not an RPG. Paladin's Quest, all maybe right. Maybe it's a side-scrolling fantasy beat-em-up, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I mean, I like I like RPGs, but it's like one of those things where it's like, man, I gotta, if, it's, if it is an RPG, it's like, got a week to play it? 
Mm. And it's like probably, it's probably not good enough gonna, to do a two part. Right, exactly. No. So it's just gonna kind of be like four part huh. series in this game we fucking cannot <laughs> stand. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay, thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher. Mm. Thanks to Backlog Banisher Dane, mm-hmm. YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's great. I couldn't get uh, my app to listen uh, the other day. Melissa wanted to hear an, a segment. Pull that shit up on YouTube. Nice. It's wonderful. It's all nice. right there. It's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dane. Yes. Uh, and then we're on various other stuff. The website, Facebook. Because, you know, there's Tadbog on Facebook. We got the episode posts there. Yeah. We've got, you know, memes. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what, that's what we do. People like the memes mm-hmm. way more than the episode posts. Uh-huh. But hey, they're both yep. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Man. You are, you are <laughs> correct. <laughs> uh, exponentially more they like the memes. Yeah. I, I've had a million hits on a meme. Uh-huh. Never more than like <laughs> 40 on an episode post. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but let's be fair. First of all, our podcast is worse than your average meme. Uh-huh. And secondly, no one wants to sit with a Facebook page open for two hours. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah, nowhere near as good as that Captain America meme about uh, getting his shoes, <laughs> shoes from a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a popular one. Yeah, that's a very popular one. So come to our Facebook page to see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, if you like uh, good... Or you like a date shit, we got Tadpog Nation. But if you like got good organized chat for, for everyone, yeah. that is on the Discord. Yeah, that's bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. Yeah. If you want to join that. It's a fun community. It's a very fun community. Mm-hmm. I haven't really been all that active on it since the Piggy Palace kind of went dormant. But yeah. hey, I'll rejoin sometime. <laughs> I can turn... I That channel's still there. I just hit it. I can, uh, I can make it come back, but that's what it's going to take to get you back. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit it because it was like, well, I mean. Uh, yeah, no one's updating this. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Paul and Chandra have that baby thing going on, so no one's updating it. And Casey's like, why does he know what a Discord is? So. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's also kind of one of those things where it's like, when that when when you run another game, probably what I'll do is revive that channel and change the name of it to whatever to whatever that whatever game good. you're gonna run. That sounds good. And what else do we do? We're tabog underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Uh-huh. We have shirts at shirts.tadpog.com, yeah. masks at masks.tadpog.com. Yes. If you want to send us something, you send that to Tad, uh, Tadpog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Kentucky 42002. Yeah. Hey, we've got all of our old calls ready to go for an episode trimmed way down. Uh, if you want, uh, there's, a, there's a fresh new call log out there for, for, you, for you to use. So one time, someday soon, we're going to go through those calls and get caught up. Use it, Daddy. If you want, to, you want to break in that fresh virgin call log. Go well, ahead. Well, re-virginized. <laughs> Revir- <laughs> right, right. We got it. We went to a gas station yeah. and found this this hymenization yeah. kit. We yeah. used it. Looks yeah. good. Yeah. So go ahead and call two seven zero eight eight three two five five five. Our voicemail found religion <laughs> later in life. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So we're, we're going to do that on all calls episode for Patreon, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good. Good. That's patreon.com slash dadpog. Oh, yeah. Most importantly, a lot of, Patreon. A Thank lot of you. wonderfully generous people who donate uh, to us on there uh, each and every month. Thank you, guys. Uh, it means a lot, and it goes uh, a long way. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. I got a floor to rebuild. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then when your guy is done with that floor... Uh, then I gotta <laughs> we, get that guy to pay. I gotta pay that guy too. Cat Punk needs some floors. Cat <laughs> Punk does need floors. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> All right. So thank you uh, for. Let me scroll down here. Make sure I don't miss anybody. Mm-hmm. All right. Doubling up. Zero skull. Thank you, Fernando. Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy Nando. Tooth Fairy Nando. <laughs> thank you. Perfect. And then new donor, Aaron. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Mononymous Aaron. Thank you very much. That's all I got. All right. Uh, This episode has been executive produced by the following people. Uh, Speaking of Patreon, these are the folks who donate to us each month at $20 or more. Thank you very much. We need floors. 
<laughs> you got Usurper Grimm, <laughs> God Emperor Alex Pena, Cousin David Galino, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Coronavirus Savior Cubicle Monkey, Zeus Laser, Steve Dixon, Plinko Nick Price, Clambro, Cody Phillips, Lint Liquor, Joseph Phillips, Bantha Master, Executive Producer Dig Dougie, The Eightfold Daniel Abernathy, Time Lord Josh Edwards, Game Bug Prime Nathan Eaton, Matt, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage. Magical Sleeper, a.k.a. Big Dick Pie Baker, Chris Vaughn. Lod Mulaney Dennis, Pinball Archmage, Chris Edler, I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode. Sandwich Boat, Phil Hawkins, Drinksmith, Joey Webster, Big Daddy, Paul Anderson, and Master Cycle Baron, Kevin Link. Nice. Thank you, guys. Yes. Our theme song is Moves. You want to know where you can find a link to that, that track? So we're on the show notes. Oh, the ones on tabog.com? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Where the episode posts. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, sweet. How you close this out, Dave? As Marvin the Martian. Okay. <laughs> so until next time. Tropical Capricorn. Man, we're so fucking good. God. So good. God, we're so good. I don't know why Warner Brothers hasn't contacted I know, us yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we need two Marvin the Martian simultaneously. <laughs> we need the anime trope where Marvin the Martian has been possessed by a demon, and so he speaks in two voices. By two Kentuckians. <laughs>